Welcome back to Foxborough's Gillette Stadium and what a sight to behold on this 79 degree night. Another humid evening in the second week of the 2018 preseason as the Pats take on the Philadelphia Eagles and Scott Zolak gives us his Gatorade prime to perform keys to the game. Oh look at that. I mean if you squeeze it hard enough you're going to get that nice ice cold water to come right out. But I'm telling you Tom Brady's got to get in rhythm right here on the outside. And I said it with Philip Dorsett. It could be with Hogan. It could be with Edelman. Jeremy Hill. I love what he started last week. I wouldn't be shocked if we see a little bit of Mike Gillisley this week to get some competition going at that spot and continue the nice rush edges that we saw last week from this defense to add on what Rob Nikovich talked about with Rivers and Hightower. And there's your head coach right there. He's got his little notepad out writing things down. Probably looking at Nikovich down there saying, hey, gonna get, get, his, get his shirt tucked in down there or something like that. You know? Rob Nikovich on the sideline, of course, played for Bill Belichick. Oh, was he good too? Taking notes. Think of. Yep. Yep. Nikovich made the Patriots, of course, after starting his career elsewhere. He came a mainstay on the defensive line. Pat's looking for a couple of guys to emerge tonight once again in a similar roles we touched on in the open. And the defense will be on the field after the Pats won the coin toss and deferred to the kickoff from Gostkowski to Gibson. Chance to return from inside the five. And he is upended. Good work by Jamal Wiltz. Once a property of the Eagles as he makes the tackle on the return. And let's start with the defensive line. Book ended by Wise and Rivers in between Shelton, Brown, and Claiborne. Yeah, Wise in, no flowers. So there's your big addition right there. And you, know, you look at this young, this young defensive unit. What can these outside edge guys build off? You know, get Danny Shelton in the offseason. He's going to get some quality reps here. And he got Bentley in the middle. So this is a big start for him. He got a couple of defensive tackles taken in the first round in the same draft. Brown by the pad, Shelton by the Brown. Shotgun snap to Nick Foles. He lost a long ball down the sideline. Okay. Lands incomplete. See what they did right there. Little switch on the outside. And that's the correct read by Nick Foles. Bentley ran all the way to the outside. And I tell you what, it's the pressure. Van Noy to the inside. He's a drop rush. And that's a nice little loop around. It like an inside game right there. Maybe a little twist inside. What do they um, call those? TE games? I'm not going to give them away. Come on now, Zo. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, what are we you're doing? with us now. I'll have BP in my ear tomorrow morning. You're with us now. <laughs> Smallwood was the target on the first play for the Eagles. Now toss goes to Jay and Jesse. Nice. Wrapped up in the backfield and penetrating for the Pats. Keon Crossing, young cornerback, a draft pick in the seventh round this year, shooting forward as we take a look at the linebackers, part of the starting defense brought to you by Gillette. E. Landon Roberts and Kyle Van Noy. That's it. That's what you want to see on your defense. You want to see aggressive and fast. Yeah, it's nice to have Harmon, McCourty, and Chung back here to roll that coverage up to, and that's that's a good read right there by Crossing. So the Eagles in a third and 16 with Foles, the Super Bowl MVP. Your number one nickel here. Take a peek at this. Get in the start tonight with Carson Wentz, still working his way back on the road to recovery from season ending knee surgery. Foles with a juggling attempt at Ajayi, and that ball caroming into the hands of McCourty. The officials are going to rule it incomplete. A little bit of an alligator arm there. It's good edge pressure there. The Playborn. Fourth down. Well, that's a really, really poorly thrown ball by uh, Foles. He was under pressure there. Wasn't able to set his feet, and that looks like it might be a. Is that off his shoe? I can't tell if that bounced or not in that angle. Hit the ground. It hit the ground. It had to hit the ground. Sometimes when you get up acting like that, they know it hit the ground. That's First good. year punter for the Eagles, Cameron Johnston, taking over for the veteran Donnie Jones to kick it away with Riley McCarron. To return for the Pats. So good start defensively tonight for New England. That's what you want, guys. Three and out. And with a fair catch out of by McCarran. We'll see the Patriots offense. Coming up, led by TB12. Tom Brady now in season number 19 at the age of 41, coming off 500 plus yards against the Eagles defense six months ago. Yep. Crowd speaks for it, and he is wearing the new helmet. Sporting Something the new gear. Yeah, it's been talked about this week. 
You gotta protect the coconuts. So well, why he, not? Was, he was uh, grandfathered in with guys like Aaron Rodgers. You know, he could have worn it until the end of next year. And let's give a nod over the helmet to Brendan Murphy, equipment manager for the Pats. He's been in this organization a long time. Former ball boy gave Brady that helmet. And Tom goes to work to a familiar target. James White catching the swing. And a nice pickup on first down behind the Patriots offensive line. Well, Locked you by let's go no Gillette huddle. as the Pats go hurry up with Brown at left tackle and Waddle outside of Tooney, Andrews, and Mason. A gain of six. White stays on. Takes the give. Holding. Ducks it back toward the inside with a couple of flags on the play. Yeah, it's going to be holding on the left side of the offensive line. He brought Edelman with a little bit of a wham motion down. Brady calling everything. Now it's on the defense. Might be hands to the face. You see anything down there, Nink? You know what? I, I just see two flags, so that means two guys saw it. Pretty Illegal clear. use of hands. Hands to the face. Hands to the face. Defense number 53. Five yard penalty. Automatic first down. Bill Vinovich, longtime referee. Right there on the right side. They're on top of these hands to the face. I think last week we saw a couple of them as oh, well. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a blatant. He had two hands, both hands up underneath the uh, chin strap of uh, Joe Tooney, the left guard. You're right, Nick. That's two weeks in a row now. So yep. this could be a big point, point of emphasis this preseason. Seventh year pro, Nigel Bradham, former Bill, guilty party. The Patriots with the first down near midfield. It is just different seeing Brady in that helmet. We saw the other one for 18 years. And now Brady from the empty set as he deploys White to flex out. Four-man rush, and again to James White. Second grab of the night into Eagle terrain. Gave it the line. Let's take a look at the Patriots' skill players. Still going no huddle here. With Hogan, Edelman, joining Gillis Lee White and Hollister. Might have Edelman here. We've got Edelman. Got a false in start. The slot with false start Chris on Long Waddle. among others for the Eagles jumping across. False start. Offense number 68. Five yard penalty. Yeah, 68. Two, Waddle. He just down. did a little flinch. Sometimes when they get that outside knee, that twitches a little bit, and then the defense sees that instantly. They just jump off. Yeah, you know, it's it's the sense of urgency Brady talked about too this week. So it's going to be imperative that everybody's on the same page, ears open think before you do something stupid listen to what he's telling you to do and as we heard last week at halftime Bill Belichick really satisfied with only 38 seconds of the opening half opposite the Redskins Edelman motions back into the slot Brady again to white in the flags with a stiff arm driven down along the sideline by Avante Maddox who's had a good camp for the Eagles as a rookie cornerback yeah, just a little misdirection. Edelman on the wrong side had to correct him to the other side of the formation. He brought him in motion. And a lot of this just quick flips to the left to James White. Really good drive starter. Set, set you up right here at third and two. We talked about that last week, that running back being almost like a receiver. Philip Dorsett now aligned to the right, and Edelman motions in that direction as well. The give on third and short, and White gets outside. Nice First down and more. James White is taken down inside the Eagle 25 with a late flag on the play. Rodney McLeod, the safety, on the tackle for the Eagles on a gain of 22. They get a face mask here. Great second effort by James White to get outside. Hogan with a short motion. Personal foul. Defense number 23. Lowering the head to the new shake contact. Wow. Captain, this is the goal. I don't know how they automatic first down. So the new rule into effect. And this is the this is the one in question. When you get out in an open space and it becomes a one on one game. But and you see the second effort. Waiting for it here. It's more so the running back though. He comes in and he first thing to touch is the helmet. Well they talk about you gotta keep the head up. The helmet goes down and the I defender in a linear position. I, I mean I don't I don't know how you do that as a defender. I don't either, Rob. It's taking football plays out of football. That's bad. And now the Patriots with the first down snap coming on as White stays behind Brady. Tom throws it underneath for Dorsett, looking for a block. He is brought down at the seven. Okay. So these are the little routes here. And when I say little routes, it's the ones right here. And here comes Dorsett. He's going to run a little shake route down to the inside. Brady puts it on him. They're sending linemen out. There's Trent Brown. Dorsett jumps all the way inside 
while Trent Brown's already outside and he has them walled off. That's where Edelman and Amendola are so good at setting up your blockers. You got a 6'8", 360-pound guy out there. Use it. Now on second down, another give out of the gun for White. Sweet feet, James White. But a dive to the five. Sorry about this telestrator. My finger is sticking to this thing with the humidity. Well, so last year when we saw Philip Dorsett in his brief time as a Patriot, when targeted, usually it was on routes down the sidelines to the outside. Right. We didn't see him catch a lot of balls in the middle Same and thing. operate on the interior. Same thing with Cooks. Like, you can tell right away, Cooks is not a quick screen guy. You're more of a downfield guy. So it's a third down and four for the Patriots with Edelman back in motion. Ready again from the gun, joined by White. Hogan and Dorsett to his right. White. He looked to White, and now he rolls to buy time for Hogan. Touchdown, Patriots! Boy, with patience inside the 10. And this is a tough thing to do for a quarterback because everything is sped up in your mind. He had White open for a touchdown in the left flat right away. But he liked the stack down inside. Hogan's inside. This keeps the route alive. And it's just a little pill around. They could have thrown holding. You saw the grab at the waist belt. But Brady's looking left. He had White. Slides up. Buys time. And that's just a great job between he and Chris Hogan finding a little spot. We've seen that before against the Eagles, in fact. Point after try by Gostkowski. Great drive. Airborne to the uprights, right down the middle. Great start for the Patriots on both sides of the ball. Brady to Hogan, a 7-0 lead. All right, taking a look at this touchdown to Chris Hogan. Here's the here's the line of scrimmage, but more importantly, everything is to the left side of Tom Brady, meaning an overloaded defense to the left. Go ahead and roll that tape. You see all these defenders here. Brady sees them, but he also sees this, spacing to the right side. Slides up, and that's just a great one-on-one -on -one play, pitch and catch with the quarterback and the receiver. So things may seem like they're open prior to the snap, and that's why I thought he had James White on that left side. But Tom Brady's counting defenders, when you have seven to the left, that's basically one-on-one, -on -one, four on four to the right side. It's a great job by the quarterback. 41 years old, like clockwork. Tom Brady, five for five on that drive. James White caught three of those passes, and of course, Chris Hogan completing it with a four-yard touchdown grab and the seven-nothing lead for Steven Gostkowski in the pass as he kicks off once again to the speedster, Shelton Gibson. He'll take it from inside the two. Get by Hill to the outside. Chased by Jason McCourty. And angled out of bounds in front of Wiltz. Gostkowski into the act as well. I think it's his 33, A.J. Moore, defensive back. He's going to be on the right side, of your, or excuse me, right side of your screen. You're going to see him come down inside right around the goalpost. And right there he slips, loses containment. You're the outside edge guy. The last thing you can have is that returner to break containment towards that boundary. Great job by Steve Gostowski tracking him down. That's a 46-yard return as a result for Shelton Gibson. And you're right, though, that was A.J. Moore uh -oh. wearing 33 like Jeremy Hill who spent some time on special teams a week ago. They give the Jai up the middle. He runs, bouncing off a would-be tackle. Surge forward to the 46. Let's talk about the defensive backs that we're going to watch this evening. There, of course, a guy who's locked down. The left corner spot, Stephon Gilmore. Joined by Rowe, Chung, and McCourty. You know, it's, it really seems that it's Eric Rowe's job to lose opposite Stephon Gilmore, who's had a great camp. But we're going to get a nice long look at Jason McCourty here tonight. Coach Belichick talked glowingly about him and his presser this week. That's a subject, by the way, the cornerback position we're going to delve into. False start as the night goes here. on. And another penalty on the Eagles. Offense number 61. Five yard penalty. Still second down. Stefan Wisniewski. Part of the problem when you break containment like that on a kick return, your kicker gets strung out. And he made a great effort to get to the sideline. But while Gostowski got extended, it looked like they were working with him down on the sideline. And he may have tweaked something in his upper body making that tackle. So a second and seven for Foles in the Eagles. Nick Foles missed three practices because of neck spasms. Off the play fake, stands in, throws across the middle, and incomplete through the hands of former Patriot Kamar Aiken. 
this, this, this is what I talk. Go ahead. This is what I was talking about. I want to see a nice third down stop. Yeah. Third and eight. Get after the quarterback. I want to see the quarterback get hit a little bit here. Foles is pretty inaccurate here tonight. Yeah. High ball to the inside, almost got intercepted. That one hit him on the back hip. He's got a happy feet. He's a little antsy in the pocket. Of course, last year's Super Bowl MVP with his three touchdown passes. Pretty, pretty good touchdown night. catch as well. Now looking at the third and seven. We got a bunch up top. See what they do here as far as pick routes, maybe. Bowles. Stands there it is. Pressure. Down he goes. Chung with a sack. Balls out. Play ruled dead by Patrick Chung, the former Eagle, getting to the quarterback, Nick Bowles. Give me 94. Where's he at? Right here. Right here. Claiborne. This guy. Look at the hands. Watch him move. He spins. He turns. And there you go. You got Chung coming in from the outside. So there's Rob. You talked about those games with Butler and Wise. Right yeah. there, your constant moving up front. It's yeah. hard to block guys when they're moving like that. They can never point out, you know, who they have, the down guy, the back. The back there is probably the Chung probably had the back man to man. The back stayed in, so he added in. A lot of pressure on the putter Johnston. He gets it away to McCarroll with a fair catch signaled for and handled. Strong start for the Patriots. New England with a 7-0 lead over Philadelphia. Brady back up and a summer stroll through Patriot Place right next door to TB12. Oh. The Pats have a 7-0 lead over the Eagles and a good start for Tom Brady. Five for five on the opening drive of tonight's game against the Philadelphia Eagles. Ready to go back to work after his touchdown pass to Chris Hogan. Look at that helmet. So, so different than the other one. Brady said this week, this team needs a great quarterback. The people the Patriots they have one as a gift to Mike Gillisley, barreling forward, wrapped up and engulfed by the Eagles defensively. Okay, here we go with Gillisley now. In the game, so going to start to get the carries here. Our player spotlight is brought to you by Putnam Investments, proud partners of the New England Patriots. First round pick out of Georgia, Isaiah Wynn. So the Putnam spotlight, Isaiah Wynn. Young man who played left tackle a year ago for Georgia with Edelman sprinting in motion. Brady off the fake. Throw with Julian who makes the grab. That is a familiar tandem, as are the guys we're going to talk to right now. Let's talk about Isaiah Wynn in our Bob's Discount Furniture Studio with Paul Perillo and Andy Hart. Paul? Yeah, really interested to see Wynn get his first snaps. Didn't see him at all last week. We saw him a little bit at right tackle during the course of the last couple of days of training camp. And I think it's it's two things. Number one, I think they want to make sure that Wynn can play both sides. He feels comfortable both left and right side. But also, we haven't seen Marcus Cannon for quite some time now, guys. I think August 1st was the last practice he was on the field. So they have to build up some depth over there. I think they like Adrian Waddle, but they want to see what Isaiah Wynn can do on that side. And, and Bill talks about it all the time, Andy. You don't know necessarily when a tackle is going to be able to feel comfortable on both sides. And this is what they often do with their young offensive linemen. Remember Nate Solder. You get that year yeah. of different jobs, extra tackle, uh, extra tight end blocker, show your versatility. Maybe down the road you're the left tackle, but for the here and now, maybe the bigger needs at right tackle, you show your versatility as a rookie. You know, so... Win because of his size, often compare it after being drafted to Matt Light, a shorter right. tackle by NFL standards. Matt struggled on the right side playing tackle, but of course excelled. In fact, a Patriots Hall of Famer as a left tackle. Brady going long. Ford Dorsett trying to come back to it, and the pass is broken up. Knocked away by Ronald Darby. Okay, Brady's trying to back shoulder Dorsett a little bit here. But first of all, here's Win. Win's right there. This is first play from uh, scrimmage. Look at the feet. You know, he doesn't get way back on his heels. That's Chris Long, a veteran defensive end. We know Chris Long. He's been here. Yeah, he's played a ton of football. But that's a good base for a young kid right there. And again, I think it's very telling that they switched him from left to right starting this past Sunday. That's a bad sign for Marcus Cannon. Patriots go to work now out of the offset eye with Devlin in at fullback. For the second down snap with Edelman again trotting in motion. Play thing. Brady down the middle. Oh, call for Cordero Patterson to get hammered after he pulled up a bit. Yeah. Here comes the flag. Too late. 
Malcolm Jenkins. Way too late. He took two steps before he hit him. Yeah, guys, that down on the field, that was definitely too late there. And, uh, he could have laid off there. He could have <laughs> yeah, caught Patterson's it. laughing at Brady. Personal saying. foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 27. Hit on the defensive player. 15 yard Back penalty. to win though you know sometimes I've, I've gone against a lot of tackles and those sm those smaller guys you know on their feet sometimes they can get you because they're so quick on their feet. Okay it's a skinny post they're trying to run. You know and the ball's high to the inside. He takes two steps. You know and, and it's hel it ends up being helmet to helmet. He starts to hit with the shoulder but like all natural reactions it goes up and through. That is way too out in the open and obvious. That's an easy one for this rest of the call. Now the pass with the toss sweep to Gillisley into a crowd. Bradham among the tacklers for the Eagles. Okay, now that now he had his head down. So that's a no call. See, I, and I'm trying to stick up for Philly on the first drive. I don't know what that kid did wrong. You know, you lead with the helmet, they're going to call it. So, but since it's one on one and it's out in the open, it's probably going to be called more. And there's Bradham coming in right there, leading with the head, and that's a no call. And even from the outset, when the competition good luck with this, there we go. Good to luck. Institute a new rule. There's been ambiguity. Brady again on play action. A high ball to the near side, and Dorsett able to corral it out of bounds. You know, guys, as a defender, it's just really hard to tackle somebody. Yep, one foot on the uh, white. Good no call. But again, uh, the open field stuff. I mean, when you turn the corner, that everybody's watching. You know, you got three refs watching that. Good probability one of those guys is going to hit it with the flag. Third and seven coming up. White back in a familiar spot next to Brady. He's got Edelman to the left, Hogan to the right. Tom Brady launches another long ball for Hogan, and broken up again by Darby. Stride for stride. He's there. These are tough ones because you're covered. The one to Dorsett prior, Dorsett was covered. He tried to throw it shorter to let it give him the opportunity to go back and get it. This one, he's trying to outthrow Hogan, overthrow him, but the ball's shortened to the inside. But Hogan's got to find that earlier to get in there and break that up. That's an easy interception. Darby's a guy the Eagles got from the Bills in a trade for Jordan Matthews. And of course, Matthews came to camp, free agent signing of the Patriots, injured his hamstring yeah. and was let go. Again, to, to the receiver position here. We're going to be talking about this, guys, for another two weeks and well into the regular season. They operate well at 10 yards. They don't have a burner right now. They don't have a guy that they could throw the ball down the field to. Big Trent Brown on the sideline. Good to see him once again before too long. The Patriots defense is forced to pair of three and outs with a 7-0 lead over the Eagles. Here in Foxborough, where Nick Foles and company take over from just outside their 20. Hertz in motion. Play fake to Ajayi. And a throw across the middle too tall. And again, Foles struggles continue. All right. Kicker Steven Gostowski, we talked about him making the tackle. Watch his head off the foot. Boom, right there, and you see the neck go back. Steve goes to the sideline. It seems like he was trying to work out the back. He ended up going down into the locker room. But good news, he has uh, returned to the sideline. Yeah, he cobwebs out a little bit. Seems to be all right. Yeah. He's a kicker. He's good. Five-time NFL leading scorer. 13th season as the Patriots place kicker following Adam Vinatieri. The give to Ajayi. Not much doing up the middle. Fights his way forward. Brought down by Guy. All right, getting a long extended look here at uh, Jason McCourty. Mixing it with the ones here. You got Harmon, you got his brother Devin, you got Chung. It was Rowe in opposite him, and not Gilmore to start that series. They're coming in with their pass rush package right now. Yeah, this is the athletic crew here. Yep. A little bit more coverage, more rushing up front. Let's see what they can do right now. Would you come off the field or would you stay on? I always stay on. <laughs> Let's not get crazy up there. It's not gas up in them boosts, is there? Yeah. <laughs> it's a third and six for Foles and the Eagles. Under five minutes to go in the first. Uh -huh. A game up front picked up well and a throw to the sideline for Treggs coming gotta, back to the ball. You got all uh, off sides. Bryce Treggs, third year receiver out of Cal. I think they got high tower. Yeah, the uh, bottom. Yeah, hard count. You get across. High tire and Rivers. Offside. Defense number 94. Penalties declined. 
Result of the play, first down. Bill Vinovich identifies Adrian Claiborne. Yeah. That's the worst. You don't want to give away first downs. Yeah. I'm sorry there. I called him Hightower. It's the hair. And he's covering the nine and the four. Patriots last week, only four penalties in the preseason opener against Washington league-wide. 50 more penalties in week one of the preseason this year as opposed to last. Now first and ten for Foles. Rears back and fires in traffic. Looking for Mike Wallace. Broken up. Yet Chug and Rowe in the neighborhood. Looked like Rowe got there a step early, but uh, you know, Mike Wallace is one of those former burners. He's been around, man. He's in Pittsburgh. He's with the Dolphins. The guy could fly, flat out fly when he was in his prime. He's got some wheels, that's for sure. Chung's in the middle, he's got the inside. Pills back. Yeah. He takes a little shot there. Bowles waits on the snap. Firing for Wallace once again, but he's out of bounds. Had a ball got there late. It's a nice route by Wallace. A little bend route to that side. It's Eric Rowe again in trail technique. So thus far, it's been off target. Not on time for Nick Foles. It's not very accurate today. One for seven for Foles, of course. Once and again, an eagle is the backup to Carson Wentz, who went down with the torn ACL in week 14 last year against the LA Rams. The third and long snap, yeah. under pressure. Moves up, moves up. He goes down. Got him. Adam Butler, second year defensive tackle out of Vanderbilt, there for the sack. The one thing that I that I see with a lot of this pressure that is constant from last week, it is initiated with Adrian Claiborne right here, coming up field. He's the first one to get the falls, makes him slide up. And Rob, we talked about target points, not running past you know where the quarterback plants his foot. Defense seems this year to be doing a nice job understanding where the quarterback is in the pocket. Worst place to be is behind the quarterback. Good job there up front. Johnston again to punt it away toward McCarron. Ball takes a bounce. It might have grazed Wilts. Yeah, so McCarron slides to cover up along the far side. He's got to get on that. Adam Butler made this team as a rookie for agent a year ago. The sack of Foles tonight. Here in Foxborough, time for the injury report brought to you by Optum. Time for Andy Hart to check in. Andy, it's a list that's grown longer in a week. Trey Flowers still on the sideline for the Patriots. Yeah, so he deemed it minor, but the longer it goes, I think the more concerned you are. It's nice to see these other guys chipping in. We just saw, you know, some acti activity there from Keonta Davis. We've seen Butler and Wise and those guys, but Trey Flowers has been the core pass rusher for this team the last two years, and you want to make sure he's healthy to start the season. Doing a lot of work on the practice field with Joe Kim and those guys working on his technique, but I'd like to see him get back out there. Third series of the night for Tom Brady, joined by Jeremy Hill, the former Bengal, had a good week one in the preseason. Let's see right there, I think Tom was going to run towards the boundary, alerted it to go opposite, yep. and then he didn't he didn't like what he saw in the box, so he just called a timeout. Nice job by Philly, too. Sort of playing that cat mouse game with him. Brady's so good at getting ready to snap the ball, and then you think he's going to snap it. He makes you commit. He had that safety come down, then he yep. alerted it, and he backed off, so that's what he called the timeout. It's, you count numbers is what you do. So whatever weak side of your formation it is, you're counting the front. And yep. that's the way, that's why he's always pointing out where the mic is. The mic dictates the strength of the formation for people at home. That's, all you hear, that's why you hear Brady say 54, 52 is a mic. And then he goes opposite that counts, and he considers that weak. So out of the timeout, Edelman again motioning behind Brady. On the pass go the offset eye. Brady's going to throw it for Hogan. Has the catch with a step out. Great rhythm. Great rhythm by Brady here. It's a quick five-step drop, and it's just that speed out. It's great, great timing. 
So you just wonder, man, the good corners, the really good corners, you know, the Jalen Ramseys of the world. When you get up there and it's bump and run, that's a tough rock to run against that. Oh, wow. Isaiah Wynn came up lane. Uh -oh. Isaiah Wynn helped to the sideline. He got tripped up by Brady. Waddle back in there for the Patriots at right tackle inside of Hollister. Deep drop. Brady steps up. Goes down as he throws. And a drop by Hogan. Let's okay. go back to the previous play. Yeah. Okay, Isaiah Wynn, bottom of your screen. Gets a good set. Pushes right into Brady. It's kind of a weird I can't little stumble see. there. It looks he's looking at his foot, Rob. Yeah. Then he needed help getting to the sideline. The pressure right away the second you get another replacement in the game. And that's the former Seahawk. And the guy the Patriots have faced in Super Bowl 49, Michael Bennett. Quick rounds. Brady there firing to Edelman. Sits down for the grab. A flag on the play. Sometimes they uh, jump the snap. So this might be an offsides on the defense. Offside. Defense number 96. Lined up in the neutral zone. Penalties declined. Result of the play. First down. Look at you, Nikovich. I only played a few years. <laughs> I mean, you are right next to that guy. I mean, they're a little bit in front of me. I just, I can tell by the snap, <laughs> the sound when it hits you, the quarterback's you tell, hand. You can tell right away when it's coming out of the pocket. Instantly. <laughs> hey, man, hey, guys, they're down to two tackles. If this, something's wrong with this kid. The uh, injury tent is up. Isaiah Wynn is in the blue tent. I don't like that. Sometimes when you step funny on this turf, if you step on something, it can, you know, just, it's, it's a little awkward. You know? Brady fakes the screen Good to screen. Edelman. Dumps it off for White. James White upfield to midfield. For the first down for the Patriots. I mean, I always thought Kevin Falk, Rob, you know, you remember Kevin was one of the best screening backs I've ever seen. This kid is as good or quicker. But it's the pump fake to Edelman that set it up and sucked up the right side of that defense. 18 yards in all. Brady across the middle again for Edelman. It gets helmet down. Another helmet. Throw it. Takes issue with That's Nigel another, Braddock. Another He's already been Easy called call. for a penalty in this game. Easy call right there. Yeah. That, that was obvious. I guess it's, it's kind of the style this team plays with, too. Remember what happened to Brandon Cooks in, in the uh, Super Bowl? I thought a lot of that was Brandon's fault. Personal foul. Defense number 53. Lowering his head to initiate contact. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. These guys are going to owe the league <laughs> after the preseason game. Eagles got hit with a couple of those last week against the Steelers. So Edelman has it. He's already being tackled from behind. He's going down, and he ducks with the helmet. Oh, now the shoulder. The hard part is the offensive guy, because Jules does try to tuck and lean right. down. So how do you protect yourself? How do you keep that helmet up, Rob? I mean, I, I know the know. I know the right shoulder of Bradham gets in there, but I mean, the helmet is down, initiating you know that point of launch. I don't know. That's a tough call. I don't know. I think a lot of games are going to be. But I mean, receiver out in the middle, you know they're going to call that. Yeah. Brady on the quick set, firing for Hogan once again. Well, Robbie, hear people say you got to see what you hit. Yeah, you know, I 100% agree with that. But the problem is at the end when the, the guy that has the ball is trying to lower down to get protected as well. So Julian is a runner. Man. Yeah, it's like he's trying to, he's lowering himself to get down. So it's hard when somebody's going to the ground. You know, myself, I was always a face up type guy, I was never a big hit guy. So. Especially as fast as the game is played. It's tough. It's a, it's a blink of an eye. And like right there, the running back goes into a hole and puts his head down. The defensive player, I don't know what you do. Just let him hit you in the chest. What do you think the Muppets like? I bet Andy Hart loves all the uh, the violent contact with the head down. Yeah, I mean. That girl, man. When they, when they Let's play go to the Muppets. <laughs> yeah, so I, Andy I, loves I, I've been there they are. Andy loves this. I've move. been ranting nonstop. <laughs> I don't know what linebackers are supposed to do when you hit somebody with your shoulder. Your head goes in that direction yeah. too because they're attached. Hey, initially, in real time, it looked bad from up here, but then when I saw the replay, I mean, it's close. Nah, I hate it. Brady across the middle. Again, there you Hogan. go. Just a good tackle. Get off the field and brought down. The tackle made by Jordan Hicks back in the lineup for the Eagles after he suffered a season-ending injury a year ago. You see this offense operate 12 and under. It is so smooth. 
Yeah. Yeah, we have a Gostowski coming out, so uh, everybody with a uh, sigh of relief. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, Steven in the past, he always is going to, you know, give it a, give everything he has, and on those kickoffs, sometimes he can, he's going to go out there, he's going to fly around, so I'm happy he's okay. 37 yard attempt for Gostkowski out of a hold by Ryan Allen. And into the uprights. He's good. Pats have a 10 0 lead. Focus, leg down, gets it through. I mean, it is a kick. Hey, it's, yeah, I've seen Pinatari tackle guys too. I remember the Herschel Walker play, but sometimes you're you're not used to tackling your bodies out. You're not in the same type of pads most of the team is in. And you end up getting a weird injury and it lingers with you the entire season. I don't know, boys, 10 zip. I think that's about it for Mr. Brady. Great first drive to start the game. Thought they moved the ball well. I just think I still think man issues down the field trying to get the ball on the perimeter. Josh McDaniels is going to have to make it be a work of art for four games without Edelman. And remember you're doing this with Edelman. But you also don't have Gronkowski out there tonight. Gronkowski really sets coverage and he's going to draw a lot of that attention. But you still got to be able to make a player two down the field in the passing game. And somebody's got to be able to do that. Final 14 seconds of the first quarter in Foxborough. Gostkowski this time to the end zone. Gibson's going to take it out. And Gino Grissom waiting on him. Good coverage downfield for the Patriots. Christian Sam, the rookie. Brandon King, the regular on special teams. And a pair of tight ends, Dwayne Allen, Rob Gronkowski on the sideline tonight. So Gronk has looked good. Lean, moving around very well in the spring and the summer. You can count on him. And when you talk about throwing downfield for Tom Brady this year, one of the guys we were hoping to see in the mix this preseason, still on the sideline, Kenny Britt. Now, Belichick just came over and talked to Brady and probably told him, I think, I think that's it, Tom. We're shutting you down. I think that's a wise thing to do. Yeah, but Britt, man, I got to see Britt. I mean, he had a really good offseason, as you stated. OTA is good. Minicamp looked great till the what? That final throw in minicamp. He pulled up with the hamstring. And we're, what, two and a half months after that. Bowles to a giant out of the backfield. Takes it back inside through the hands of Bentley and eventually brought down by Elandon Roberts and company. Keontae Davis, young player, getting some snaps tonight as well on defense. So the first quarter has come to a close. Here in preseason week number two, Patriots and Tom Brady with a 10 0 lead over Philly. Some of the nice scenes from this second week of the 2018 preseason. The Minutemen. Pats cheerleaders, their last dress rehearsal here at home before the new season begins in a few weeks. Jay Ajayi juking his way upfield out across the 40. They got Bentley and Shelton collaborating on the tackle. It's been a good start for the Patriots defense under Brian Flores tonight. Three drives, three yards allowed with a couple of sacks. You like to see that. Yeah, you take that first drive away last week that the Redskins had on him, and it's pretty much been what we've been looking at this entire camp. Defense looks like it's a little ahead of the offense. Guys are moving around. They look more athletic. Good pressure, too, guys. Bulls and the Eagles go empty. A second down snap. Pocket holding and a throw across the middle, finding the outstanding tight end, Zach Ertz. He's got a first down against Devin McCourty. That's a gain of 20. Yeah, uh, not not good news for uh, Isaiah Wynn, guys. Went to the medical tent, and uh, looks like they brought the cart over, had his shoe off, and uh, has been carted off. So you got two first-round picks down. Wynn being evaluated, we're told, with an ankle injury. And you're right, though. I, I don't Isaiah know how Wynn. he heard it. Sony Michelle. That could be. And Rob, I don't know. I mean, to me, it looks more like a foot than ankle. Yeah, I mean, he's a big guy. You know, like the Edelman guy. foot injury? He's a big guy. I've never had a foot injury, but I've over the years, I've just seen a lot of different things. And nice stick. One step, one way, you know, awkward step, you never know. You guys know, that big, too. When you're a big guy, yeah, definitely. Smallwood runs into Chung. And he holds his ground about as well as anybody. Patrick Chung. Yeah, past the age of 30. 
decade in the league, Rob. Pat's like an extra linebacker, and he can cover. So he's uh, he's perfect for what this the league does. You know, with those backs, that can get out and run. He can cover. He can tackle. He's a good player. It's been so good the second time around with the Patriots. Finally figured out what he is, and not asking him to do things he couldn't do. Foles pressured by Claiborne. Strip sack. Ball's loose. Oh. Pats have it. Bentley on the run. Woo. In the clear. Touchdown, Patriots. There you go. Pressure. We could have used that last year. That'll get you noticed. This kid's been making plays since day one of training camp. 51. Boiler up, baby. Must look like a young Gerard Mayo out there. I don't think Gerard's ever been that fast. Well, let's see how this happened. Again, to what Nikovich just talked about, the pressure. It's the fake give underneath. Everybody's in their lanes. But again, it's Claiborne from the backside. Whew. And we've seen him work hard. One of the first guys on the field every practice. One of the last to leave. And you got him from Atlanta. And you worry, boy, what's the work ethic going to be like? It's paying off. The work ethic, in the words of his teammates, outstanding. And the youngster Bentley again makes his mark. Number 51 covers 53. And with a Gostkowski point after, off the strip sack by Claiborne. The Pats have a 17 0 lead over Foles and Philly. The eighth year pro on your left with a sack, the rookie on your right. With the return, defense on the board for the Pats, pitching a shutout thus far with a 17-0 lead over Philadelphia. Here in week two of the 2018 preseason, Rob Ninkovich in our open said he wanted to see pressure on the quarterback. Scott Zolak, the Pats have done that and more. They've gotten pressure on Nick Foles throughout. Yeah, they've been in uh, Foles' grill since this game has started. Gostkowski to Gibson. With a cutback taken down. The extra more on the tackle for the Pats. We go back to the touchdown. Yeah, again, it's Claiborne that initiates the contact. And it, there's the scoop right there by Bentley. But you see Nick Foles right there in the background. So when Claiborne came around the backside, he beats that left tackle. He forced Foles' right arm up. And Nick Foles is in the medical tent right now. So he's got, watch Foles here. You see him wince right there, and he grabs the shoulder. So, oh, so he had his elbow. The shoulder comes forward. That's a shoulder injury right there. So Nick Foles still currently in the Eagles medical tent. And now the third-year quarterback, second-year Eagle, Nate Sudfeld, in the lineup with a game to Ajayi. Burrows up the middle. Outstanding performance thus far through a quarter plus for the Patriots defense. It's been really good. It really has. First four drives, fumble return for a score by Bentley. Off the third sack, and there's Adrian Claiborne. So you touched on it. Here's a guy with 30 career sacks. Now in his first year under Brian Flores. Only the defense for the Patriots. Great work ethic. You just tell there's a little sense of urgency in it. No loaf. Sudfield. Second down. Under pressure from Wise, Wise. eventually tosses it out of play. But there's there's Wise not running past the quarterback upfield, stopping and getting that big mitt, grabbing that right hand, and grabbing a jersey. Top of your screen, you see him beat the tackle. Now watch, he stops, comes underneath, grabs it. That's it power. back with the speed. You know, now 72 that tackle, like he just got beat once. Claiborne had a good sit down rush on him, sat him down, stopped his feet, and then ran around him. So you want to take a stab at that tackle's name? <laughs> a lot of syllables. A tackle for the Eagles. How about no, you're to play by play guy? My time. A throw to Smallwood in the open field. Lined up by McCourty. Oh, finished off by McCourty. 51. Good stick. Run into the ball. Good job by McCourty. Breaking down, not getting beat. That's tough out in open space. Grabbing a guy, and then somebody coming by and cleaning it off. Patriots are now going to deploy two return men. You see McCarron 
the youngster trying to make this team as a potential slot receiver handling the returns this evening with Braxton Berrios the rookie from Miami a scratch McCarran in his second NFL year out of Iowa Johnston busy man of the youngster out of Australia the short punt handled by McCarran slipped a hit and then is swarmed under there's Devin McCourty right there breaking it down setting it up where's the hit right there 17 zip pats Welcome back to Foxborough, where fans here are enjoying this summer night at Gillette Stadium. Right on the stadium grounds in the heart of Patriot Place is the brand new CBS Sporting Club Gastro Sports Pub. It's the quintessential destination before, during, and after the game. It has stadium-style seating, an outdoor patio with a bar, and an array of mouth-watering dishes. Look at that. Think they got some good sandwiches in there? Well, I saw that some of the Patriots PR staff apparently had a oh, really? staff lunch outing huh. recently at the CBS Sporting Club. Picked up that tab. Aaron Salkin. Brady. We have to give up the middle. It's been a good start for Tom Brady and the Patriots out to the 17-0 lead. He stays on here in the second quarter. Oh, my gosh. It's, by it's just hard to look at him in that helmet. <laughs> he just looks like <laughs> Dude, another guy. No, he looks helmet. like another guy. <laughs> With that big stripe right down the middle. I mean, get used to it, folks. I guess he likes it. But, I mean, really, really crisp and precise with all the short throws. Again, talking about that sense of urgency that he indicated this team needs. They need a great quarterback this year. New helmet, same old right arm, same eyes as well to diagnose the defense. Takes the snap with a blitzer up the middle, and Brady dumps it in the turn. Smart. It's a free shot right there, kill shot. Straight up the middle. Threw it away smartly. Yeah. See, the face mask is different. It's different than his other face mask, and that's the one thing he talked about that he needs to get used to. It's all about angles and shoot for 18 years, you're used to seeing it. Bill Vinovich was the referee for that wild divisional playoff between the Patriots and the Ravens. Ground? And then Super Bowl 49. I think he said that there was a receiver in the vicinity as Brady takes the snap, moves up, throws for White underneath, curls back to the inside. And he's taken down Nathan Gary among the tacklers along with Kamu Grugier Hill. Brady a little ticked off, as you can hear. He's still screaming at people out there, but here's your helmet last week that he wore, and he did not play. And then moving on to the new one. A lot more vision in the old one, as you can see. Still good to see him. Week two of the preseason. Ticked off and still giving it to people at this age. Yeah, he's still in it. That's why he's the GOAT. Ryan Allen continues to punt for the Patriots. Now in his sixth year, Rashard Davis to return for the Eagles. It's a good kick. He drives him back, but he slips a hit and heads into the arms of King and Richards. 58-yard punt. Let's See go downstairs once okay. again to the Bob's Discount Furniture Studio and to Paul Brillo and Andy Hart. Your early impressions, guys. You know, offensively, I think it's pretty much what we were hoping to see. A little bit of cohesion. It's, it hasn't been perfect, so I totally agree with you. Trying to get the ball downfield, they've had some problems, but you've seen the rhythm. You've seen Tom Brady looking, yeah. making everything look all different than it did last week. And James White, I thought the spark that he gave early in the game, those are guys that you're going to see moving forward. Those are the guys I wanted to see have some success together, some cohesiveness, and we saw it. And then defensively, we're certainly seeing, as Rob put it, an edge presence that would have been nice last year. Adrian Claiborne, Derek Rivers getting to the ball, and then Bentley showing up for the second straight week. That's a guy that looks like, you know, he doesn't know he's a late-round pick who's looking for a special teams role. He looks like a guy that's trying to show his athleticism as a thumper and win a job that's a regular rotational role on defense. That's a good point you bring up about Bentley right there, chasing as the ball is completed to the sideline. He showed good closing ability. And he got the guy down right here. He made the tackle. Gibson brought down, still down for the Eagles. And we will take a timeout here in the second from Gillette. 
Adrian Claiborne and the Patriots with a 17 nothing lead over the Eagles before the injury to Gibson who by the way walked off on his own power Andy Hart brought up a point Rob Nikovich about a presence on the edge for the Patriots it's something they really never had last year from the outset it seemed like they were always searching what do define roles for the defense what can they do to help this unit improve here in 2018. I think defined roles will help you know last year they had a lot of injuries and guys were shuffling in and out because of those injuries. Um, you know I think this year there's going to be guys you're going to see a left end you're going to see a tackle you're going to see a right end you're going to see the backers they might interchange a little bit but I'm not seeing like a left end going into tackle then the right end then back to left end then the note like I just see more of a defined role for everybody and that makes everybody faster and on defense that's what you want speed. On second and two, Ajayi takes the toss and he hits up field. Brought down with a first down run by Patrick Chung once again, and there was Bentley flowing to the football as well. Here we are. Now Gilmore's in here. Chung, McCourty. First unit defense. Again, Jason McCourty mixing in with these guys here tonight. First time. Not the first time he's been on the field, he's been out there, but first time this year. Yeah, Jason McCourty last year with the Browns Patriots got him in a trade of course reunited with his twin brother Devin Devin a two time Super Bowl champ Jason trying to get to the playoffs for the first time as a former Titan and Brown Watch Goddard the rookie tight end in the lineup for Philly Sunbelt to put it up going long for Treggs good coverage by Gilmore as the pass lands incomplete tight nice job he's got long arms it's that offhand and it's it's deceptive speed too he looked like he was beat. But I mean, just kicks it in stride. He does a good job keeping that right hand out of there, but it's the offhand, and he's so, you know, that's how he ended the Jacksonville game. Offhand, getting it in, knocking it down. It's a good play, right in the pocket there. Eagles bunch a trio to the left of Sudfeld. He's the brother of the former Patriot, Zach Sudfeld, who was a preseason sensation. Back in 2013, Patriots coming with a boo. The Sunfeld gets it away, thrown deep down the left side, early contact. That'll That's draw a there. couple of flags, make it three on Keon Crossett. Is that Van Noy coming up the middle? Somebody came in and got the quarterback low, too. That's that's a could be one of those close calls going at the knees of the quarterback, but this is obvious pass interference down the field. Pass interference. Defense number 35. Spot foul. Automatic first down. Cross on the rookie seventh round pick out of Western Carolina. See, and it is Van Noy. He, he does a good job getting out of the way, but Van Noy gets cut down. And just poor so, timing on Crossan's part. Just, you know. A little bit early there. Just yeah. A little bit early. But those are tough, Van Noy. When you're coming up the middle and that back goes low, it's tough. Yeah. It's, a, it's like blink of an eye. That guy's on your knees. So the Eagles are in court of the first down. That throw intended for DeAndre Carter. We saw him. As a Patriot, a couple of years ago, wound up in the practice squad for some time. Last year, with the nine on the scene to the right, pressure. Again, Van Noy chasing the quarterback. Guy there as well. Sutfeld got it away. Van Noy again on a freebie right up the middle. Yeah, they got both inside backers coming inside there, and what happens there is that inside backer reads the slide. So Vinoy keeps going. If the back, if the line slides to you, you pop out in coverage. Yeah, you had Wise getting held there, but that was a nice job by Lawrence Guy sliding outside too to get vertical there. Big full start of this game for Philly gave way after a blindside sack by Adrian Claiborne. Now Foles sees Sutfeld. Throw to the back of the end zone. And the pass broken up. Easy. But again, flags on the play. You got to know where the ball is. They call face guarding on that ball. Oh, yeah. And they get cross in for the second time on this drive. This time, try to defend Kamar Aiken. Got to look back pass for the interference. ball. Pass interference. Defense number 35. The foul occurred in the end zone. The ball lays at the one yard line. Automatic first down. I, I know he doesn't believe it, but first of all, this play starts with the pressure. You take a look at it again. It's a step in by Bentley. He backs out, but it's the two ends at close. Sudfeld steps up, and he has no clue where the ball is. Never turns to look for it. Textbook, it's not called face guarding. That's P.I. 
It's an easy call. Pressure came initially from Keontae Davis. And the first and goal to give up the middle. Good work by the Patriots. And it's been a tough night for Crossing, too, because he's been the number one nickel guy in every situation. So I look at it in pairings. We're not game planning. Let's be, let's be kind here. This isn't a scheme, but it is a unit. When you have McCourty, when you have Harmon, when you have Gilmore, and you have the other McCourty out there, and you're the inside slot guy's nickel, it's got to be your night. But you got two big flags that have kept this drive alive and probably going to give him seven points. Keep in mind, you've got Dawson, his rookie classmate, on the shelf tonight. Not dressed for the Patriots. Again, Smallwood hit in the backfield, Woo! penetrating defensively for the Patriots. Once again, Kyle Van Noy. Again, though. Making a stop. I know, I know Van Noy's getting the credit for it, but watch Bentley at the top of your screen. His ability to anticipate and just step in there at the right second. You know, it, it makes the tackle nervous. You see him stepping in, tells me he's here in the count. Great awareness by him. If Van Noy doesn't get him, he does. This kid may have it, man. Patriots trot him out. A stand on third and goal to go after the two pass interference calls. Now Ajayi in the backfield. Sudfeld. Lobs one for the end zone for Gibson. Touchdown. Eagles. What a route. Boy, if you're Jason McCourty, you got to be better than that there. I couldn't see that. Was it a pick? Sometimes no, on those you got to back it's, up a little. It's a return. It's a down and in. He comes in from the outside. He's the outside edge guy to the left of your screen. What he's going to do is going to run McCourty all the way down in, and then he just pills it back out, and it's really not competitive. It's, it's like the uh, Julian Edelman route. Big go. Remember he slipped on, then he went back to him yep. for the game winner? Yep. That was the game winner, right? That was the game winner in Super Bowl 49. Oh, Edelman loves telling you that, too. <laughs> you guys all think it was Amendola. Point after is good by Jake Elliott. Let's do some trivia, Bobby. Let's do it, Zoe. Tonight's trivia is brought to you by Bank of America, official bank of the New England Patriots. How many times have the same teams met in consecutive Super Bowls? Go Cowboys so Bills. You, you Cowboys think this Bills? could be a prelude to the postseason where these teams met six months ago? Maybe. What about uh, Cowboys Steelers? I used to be a Steeler fan, right? Yeah, twice. Now, Bill Belichick yeah. can write it down in Sharpie. There's a long way to go before you know he's doing? February. He's writing down. Atlanta. Eliminate this song from playlist at game. <laughs> That's Sorry. <laughs> Some really bad music. No guy, two guys really who know music. their history and trivia are downstairs. Andy and Paul. Let's go down to the Muppets. Go to Paul. He's They're the probably old Googling one. it right now. <laughs> He's the old one. Go Our to Cowboys him. Bills? I, I, don't, I don't know. My, 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 just, hey, Steelers, relax. Vikings? Ish. I'm Ish. 70s? Years. I'm not sure. Come on. McCarran out across the 15, tripped up. Corey Graham on the stop for Philly. Patriots with their banners from five Super Bowl championships. Dallas Buffalo. I heard somebody say Cowboys yeah. Bills. I nailed that. Called it. Told you. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> nailed it. Yeah, we Cowboys played those. Uh, we the played those titles Bills in a span teams. of what four years? Oh. The Bills 0 for four. K gun. It's crazy just to watch a quarterback go up there and just call every play at that time, the time of the game. I mean, in the 90s, it's unprecedented. Tom Brady stands in, finds Edelman. Julian is dragged out, out near the 25. Oh man! Let's take a look at your quarterback from tonight. Tom Brady looked good in the pocket. Really good throws. James White was really the igniter of, of that first drive. Good timing throws to Hogan. There's your quick, quick little pump to Edelman to set up James White. And talk about this touchdown. Watch him slide up in the pocket. All of all of the defenses to his left. He knows where they're at, and it's just a one-on-one -on -one little pick route there with uh, Hogan in the back end line. And another blast and burst from Jeremy Hill. Good run into the Eagles secondary. Graham brings him down after 12. 
odd looking helmet. You mentioned Jim Kelly calling plays. Yeah. That used to be the norm. Any doubt in your mind that if Tom Brady had to, he could oh, he call could, plays? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the, the game has gotten to that, especially, you know, guys like Roethlisberger, Brady, Rivers, Breeze, uh, even Phil Rivers. You've been around the game so long, it basically becomes your offense. Setting up the screen for Patterson, striding down the sideline, beating the Eagles to the 20. And tripping over the pylon. I thought, no way he got out of there. For Daryl Patterson. Hang on, he may be out. With an electrifying catch and run. Waiting on Bill Vinovich and the officiating crew who mark him out back at the 40. The runner stepped out of bounds at the 40 yard line. First down. Oh man, this is just a, uh, it's one of those quick down the line of scrimmage screen passes. Play fake one way, bring it back. And that's a nice block by Trent Brown out in space to even give him the opportunity to get out there. Does he step out? Uh, yeah, I think so. Brady for the pump. Now under pressure Brody. on the roll. Brody. Tom buying time and finding an open will tie eventually right near the stick with Sidney Jones, the young cornerback. I joked covering. with you when we sat here at the season ticket practice when Patterson was doing the returns. I said, now I'm not calling him Randy Moss. He's not Randy Moss. There's only one Randy Moss. But some of those speed guys like that have that gait where it doesn't really look like they're moving fast. His stride. Whew. Well, he's a great return man, as we know, one of the best in the NFL throughout his career. He's also had six touchdowns rushing, and all of them for 30 yards plus in his career. Jump cut in the backfield, but he was brought down for a loss. A lot of hands on the hips out here on the defensive side. These guys are gassed. I'd go no huddle if I was Josh. Well, you didn't really game plan it. Keep it going. Yeah, you hands gotta on the head. You got to worry, too. You know, who do you trust out there to run that? Speaking of running, Patriots well conditioned. They've been running their hills. Rob, I bet you don't miss those. <laughs> I don't at all. <laughs> I don't run hills. On the second and 12, Brady with a dart. The bobble by tie nearly Helmet. picked off. Helmet? So, how do they call that if you're going after I don't the know. ball? Safety came down ball? with the helmet there. It's tough. These are going to be tough. It's oh. interesting to see how the regular season. You know, Ty's a guy that killed you too. That Giants game years ago. See the balls up. Yeah. I think they hit each other. See, that, Rob, you're right too. Part of the problem is the offensive guy. When you've got to be able to justify, is he going down too to initiate contact, or is he falling? Is That's he falling? Part, yeah. Right. White is checked back in for the Patriots. Three receivers aligned to the right. Brady again with that mobility in the pocket and eventually out of the pocket, a throwaway. That's good. Once you're outside that tackle box, there doesn't have to be a receiver within the vicinity as long as that ball is across the line of scrimmage. You've watched him so many years, and Rob, you played with him. What did you think a few years ago when he made it an emphasis to be more mobile, make more unscripted throws, or at least move laterally better when you saw Tom Brady closing in on 40? Well, he's got some of the best pocket presence in the league. You know, I'm talking just moving in the pocket, avoiding the rush, finding a hole, and making a strike. I think he's one of the best in the league. Him and Drew Brees are really good at that. Um, you saw it in the first touchdown pass. He was able to look for the hole, find it, make a strike. Here's another one of the best in the league. Gostkowski launching the 49-yarder. And he connects for the second time tonight. After he had a 52-yarder a week ago against Washington, Patriots now with a 20-7 lead. There you go. Skowski with the power. I love watching kicking replays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it, was, it is. I tell Franny back in the booth, give me a collision. <laughs> what, was, the, the extra, the, the kick doesn't get you jacked up? I, the points. I like the points. <laughs> hey. I, I, I thought you might be excited because he's wearing one of those right. grandfathered helmets. He's wearing one of the old helmets. Well, biggest takeaway. Like so much. I mean, he's been around forever, too. You talk about a guy 13th year. I mean, yeah. second most tenured guy out there other than Tom Brady. 2006 draft, baby. That's amazing. Got two kickers here. <laughs> That's amazing. Incredible. And the one guy that brought in. Ownership, you know, it's crazy. 
remarkable. And the one guy they brought in who didn't make the team at the time was Robbie Gold, who yeah. was one of the premier kickers in the NFL. And when I back when I was holding and when Vin Vinatieri they was still up for grabs, they brought in a guy by the name of Phil Dawson. We went through an entire training camp with Phil Dawson and Adam Vinatieri as our kickers. Vinatieri ended up beating him out, obviously. But Trent. Dawson had a great career. Returning, accelerating. Now past the 30. Jordan Richards among the tacklers for the Patriots. It's been a great first half for New England overall with the 27 lead. They will have some coaching points to make, though, on kick coverage. Yeah, and it's still a work in process. You know, some of these kicks have been intentional, meaning, you know, to, to fall somewhere around the goal line, the one-yard line, forcing them to return it. And uh, you've got the first unit D out there. Now, here's a change. Out goes Jason McCourty. In comes Eric Rowe. So it's Rowe and Gilmore at the two corner spots. Again, with Crossan is the nickel corner. Crossan right now is your nickel guy. The new norm in the NFL, of course, the extra defensive backs. Sudfeld to Carter. Closing in a hurry. Crossan makes the hit. How much has it changed in recent years? Meaning, now the base defense plays oh, yeah. about 15% of the time. Yeah, talking about that with Rob too. It's like then you got you got to worry. Do you have a guy like Hightower? He's so good at, at pass rushing, especially at the edge. You got to leave him out there, which keeps an extra linebacker out there. Ideally, you, you want three down guys and a bunch of defensive backs that can run and chase. Sunfeld, the second quarterback of the night for the Eagles. They have five QBs on their roster. Again, under pressure, pocket collapsing, and three Patriots. Wise. Collaborate, including Dietrich Wise. Adam River, Butler Rivers and Derek great Rivers in there as well. It was Rivers who really initiated, as Rob just said. Well, you watch 95, the bottom. Leverage gets up under the pad level. I mean, and then you turn a quarter and come back down to the quarterback. That's the most impressive thing for me with these kids is they don't continue to run up the field. It's a good rush by Rivers. He Rivers favor power, is power to pull. So you fake the power, then the tackle sits and you pull them forward. Now Rivers to stand up. With the third and ten looming. A lot of pressure once again. Sunfeld goes down again. Kyle Mendoy. Nice call. Real nice call by Brian Flores. Starts on the outside with Patrick Chung. So what do you do on one side of the ball? You got Rivers cranked up, you got Claiborne, and then you got Chung accompanied with Van Noy to the right side of the guard. And lay your ears back and go get him. So that one right there, that's We're in the two-minute warning in Foxborough. Patriots defense, outstanding. On Monday, the Kraft family and the Patriots Charitable Foundation teamed up with Bob's Discount Furniture and a bed for every child to surprise 200 children in need with a Patriots-themed bed. After a memorable day at Gillette Stadium enjoying their new beds, meeting Patriots players, and a movie on the big screen, Bob's Discount Furniture packed the beds up and delivered them to every child. Uh, really, <laughs> this one this one hit you. Mm. You got two, two kids at home, I got three. Been fortunate enough throughout the years to where they've all had beds. Obviously, you take things for granted. And to think, you know, in partnership with Bob's Discount Furniture, and there you see Mr. Kraft and, and Jonathan. And none of these kids had beds prior to it. And to think, here they are, getting on a bus to come to Gillette Stadium. And then it's all decked out in Patriots garb. You saw the footballs, the players were there. The stuff they do during the week in the off season, the, 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 the charitable work. All volunteerism, I mean, but again, to place beds in kids' homes, nothing nothing better than that. We saw Robert and Jonathan, of course, the spirit of the late Myron Kraft, a great philanthropist, permeates in this organization. Riley McCurran on the return. Down on the sideline, Rob Ninkovich with us. And Rob, certainly a guy who devoted a lot of time throughout his Patriots career. On his Tuesdays off and in the offseason, making community appearances. Yeah, I mean, they, they did them, I think, Monday. Monday was the day that they did that at the start of the week, still in camp mode, you know, dealing with meetings, practices, and then scooting upstairs to hang out with kids. Yeah, no, it's, since when I got here in 2009, it was always giving back to the community. And when you have that platform that we have as football players, 
there's nothing better than when you see a kid's face light up. And uh, I was happy to be able to do that for a long time. Tom Brady back under center. And give once again to James White. All right. Okay. Minute 45. You have two timeouts left. And uh, the big guy's still in the game, meeting Tom Brady. I knew when I was told he was going to play into the second quarter. Never would I think I'd see him here. Game two, approaching halftime. This is two-minute mode. They want a two-minute drill here. Brady firing for McCarron, holding on. Out of boy. No. Thank you, Hollister. I'll beg your pardon. Yep. It's Jacob Hollister with the grab. And I'll beg his pardon with that outstanding catch taking a hit at the end. You, you got you to knock it off. I know his shoulder's bugging him here, but it's a great route. The spacing to the top of the numbers. He takes a good shot, and Brady sticks it right on him. That's a great throw and catch. 22 yards in all for Hollister. Brady firing to the sideline. Hogan. Well, he wearing face a, mask. A fight his way out of bounds, and there's a penalty marker, as Rob said, a face mask, perhaps. Good call, Nick. Hey, but this is, this is to get Brady Two-minute drill work with this offensive line, Dorsett and Hollister. Personal foul, face mask. Defense number 33. You know, 15 practice, yards penalty they work the all run. the different situations. Automatic and Bill down. loves this stuff. Yeah. So right now, they're just doing what they do every day in practice. Oh, and that's a tough one right there. His finger got caught inside the face mask. That's a good call right there. Nice move by Hogan to get out. That's the thing, catch and get out of bounds. Conservos timeouts. Devontae Busby with the penalty for Philadelphia. Yeah. Like, we know, we know what Hogan and James White and guys can do in two minutes. They're trying to find out. Okay, Hollister and Dorsett. Let's watch them in his drill. We've got Eric Decker slot left with a screen for White. James White That's across funny. the 10, the 5 to the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots. With this aggressive defense, they're just cutting them up with screens. What a wall. Phenomenal timing on this. Sweet feet, James White sets it up perfectly. And you know how many times they've repped this, Rob, with Dante Scarnecchia, the offensive line coach. It's a one count, two count. Then you got to move those damn feet, get out there. And they form a perfect wall in the middle of the field. I don't even think the defenders can see James White. And there's Dante Scarnecchia getting on his offensive line. Great timing. Yep, and he goes right, and Dante searches out James White to tell him, great job. On for the point after try. Out of the Allen hole. Here we go from the spread. Okay. You look at that underneath right there. They release. So it's David Andrews. It's Joe Tooney. It's Mason. And then they just wall it off for James White. And how about the block by Hollister from the opposite side? You think the play's dead. The play's never dead. Hollister on his drive. Great spacing at the top of the numbers to allow Brady to get it to you. You took the shot, you sucked it up, you kept playing, and then later you came back with a critical block to get him in for six. Jacob Hollister said yesterday, blocking is a mindset. You have to have a willingness to block, and as Zoe said, banged up with the shoulder just a bit after that catch down the field, helping James White get in for the score on the 20-yard screen. And that's how you slow down a fast defense. And then in the first two weeks of the regular season, they're going to see some speed. So you can tell they've been working on their screen game. Yeah. I mean, hey, you may you may think at times I got a lot of bag, I got a bag of rocks inside my head. But when you're out there and you're watching practices, and I'm watching who's talking to Hollister, if the head coach is pulling him aside, spending extra time with him during drills, working him through it, you see Brady working him through it. You come out, and you respond the way you did tonight, a little bit of last week. He's your number. He's your number two tight end right now. Okay. Yeah, you definitely take no one. Belichick says he has a bright future. Coming up, it's the Geico Halftime Report from the mouths of babes. And speaking of Bill Belichick, we'll hear from him as well. Another family night here at Gillette Stadium in the preseason. Our last look at the Pats in Foxborough before the regular season begins. And Rob Nikovich referenced the first two opponents for the Patriots. They will play the Texans here and then go up against that ultra-athletic defense from Jacksonville. You're going to love what you hear from Pats fans. The little ones. This next feature coming up. Sudfeld firing to the tight end. Goddard makes nice the catch in stride. Nice ball. He fought his way to the sideline. Good work by the rookie. Deep zone. You're sitting back here now. You got to make the tackle. Keep him in bounds there. 
Okay, makes the catch. Don't want to get out of bounds. It's 28 yards to Dallas Goddard. Played well last week in his Philly debut. Second round pick out of South Dakota State. Well, they've had some tight ends come and go through there. Ertz, obviously, oh. a really good tight end. Burton is now in Chicago. <laughs> that guy. Got himself a nice payday. Seven million a year for that guy. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, Brett Selleck there for so long, too. One of the great tight ends in the NFL during his time. So it fell across the middle. Catch made and heading out of bounds. Gibson. Good feet. A little scurry to the near sideline, chased by Eric Rowe. Boy, you just want to come out of these games injury free too. You keep going back to you know, win in the medical tent. He got carted off. You know, hopefully it's not a serious issue. Patriots got a scare the other day in practice. Philip Dorsett slipped on the field and seemingly injured his right knee to cause a great deal of concern. Went into the tent. Behind the practice field, not once, but twice. Uniform time. Good throw by Seton again to Carter. He's out of bounds with Crossin trying to keep up. Crossin's having a tough night. Real tough night. And that was Less trail chase technique all the way from the other side of the field. Less than a minute left. This is not what you want, but we'll see what they do here. Eagles knocking on the door after that 24 yard completion with 30 seconds to go. Philly with all three timeouts remaining. Smallwood in the lineup. Crossing in a slot to the top. They're leaving him in, seeing if he can play. Sudfeld pressured by Davis. Got it away. A dangerous throw there. Feeling the pressure, falling back. You don't get enough on that ball. It doesn't get out of bounds. Defense is gassed right now. Philly trying to score deep in Patriot territory. Final seconds of the first half. Dare I bring up? What? The Philly special. It's been retired, by the way, according to Doug Peterson. You mentioned Trey Burton. You said you weren't going to talk about this stuff. <laughs> That's right. The past is past. Now it's second and goal to go. Sutton lobs it for Carter. Another fly. Yeah. He Third is. of the night on crossing. Next guy. Sorry, but next guy. Got to get someone else. Um, this is just sitting inside. I mean, it's not a crazy move. He goes over the top, he gets beat, and he grabs him. I mean, you're on an island out there. Prior to the pass, holding. Defense number 35. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Take another look at it. Right there in the middle of your screen. You're flat-footed. You're not on your toes. You run right by you, and you grab it. It was a quick grab there, but uh, I think the refs, they're going to call that. We've, we've heard that before. They're going to call yeah. anything I mean, after five. They're going to call it. When you get beat, you reach like that. That's you're looking for help. Cross and try to hurry off the field of the sideline, but a long way back after his third penalty of the evening. Sunfield oh, yeah. pressured by Wise. Nice job by Wise. Hey, if they're not going to block you and they're going to slide, that's a slide protection. They slide to the other side, to the right, and they leave Dietrich Wise. To the top of your screen, unblocked. That's like a freight train coming. Well, you see Bentley, he makes the pressure in the B gap, and then the tackle slides down on Bentley. So that's why he was wide Take open. Take one for the team, right, yeah. Rob? That's right. Sacrifice. Sack, individual staff, but really a team effort. As one states the obvious. Second to goal, down to 17 seconds left for Philly here in the first half. Smallwood on the run into a crowd. And there's Bentley into the brave for the Patriots, assisting on the tackle with a timeout taken by the Eagles. First charge timeout. Philadelphia. Yeah, 30 seconds cross, timeout. They put Cross him back in. A lot of action inside in the line, inside linebackers. I like what I see. They're in and out of the, the front there. They're backing up. They're coming in. They're backing up. So it's a lot of confusion there on the offensive line's part. They don't know who's coming, who's yeah. dropping. That's that's 
good defense. That's what you want to see. It's interesting. Doug Peterson with his play call sheet there. This is his offense. He does call the plays from the sideline. Mike Groh, former, uh, not former son, but son of uh, my former coordinator, Al Groh, the defense coordinator, who was in last week with a little piece on Willie McGinnis doing it for NFL Network. He is the offense coordinator, but Doug Peterson does call the plays. He says he mostly just organizes things. Matt Groh, by the way, Al Groh's other son, longtime area scout for the Patriots. Back to the flat. Third and goal to go for Sudfeld and the Eagles. It's called out. Back of the end zone. Good D. Broke it up. And who's there on the spot for the Patriots? None other than Jawan Bentley. Yeah, Nick, you called this combo. Black back in the flat, tight end of the flag. It has a catchable ball. They threw it back inside to give him a chance at it. Defender at his back turn, meaning Bentley. That's a good job by him just pulling the arm down. It's great to have his hands right in the pocket there. And I say back to the flat because if the back is wider than the tackle, he's getting out. So now fourth and goal to go for the Eagles from the two. Sudfeld shovels it. Ooh, incomplete. <laughs> Patriots make a stand and turn Philly aside. Keon Crossett. That's a double squeeze on the outside edge. Again, Claiborne. No, and he's. Sudfeld's just trying to make a play, flips it down underneath. The receiver just stopped. Almost looks like it was supposed to be a quick throw if the back's cutting and the other end is letting him go. Brian Hoyer for his first snap of the night, and it is the final snap of the opening half here in Foxborough. Tough 30 minutes overall for a rookie cornerback. But a terrific first half for the Patriots on both sides of the ball, led by Tom Brady and offense. Ian Hogan started it. Bentley, the Bats defense finished it. Closing in on the start of the second half of the Pats, leading the Eagles 27-7. Before we begin the third, Steve Burton caught up with Patriots head coach Bill Belichick a few moments ago. Well, joining me now is Patriots head coach Bill Belichick. And last week at this time, you said you saw 38 seconds of good football. What did you see from the offense and Tom Brady tonight? Yeah, Tom did a nice job. Uh, we've been competitive here, so, um, you know, get, looking at a lot of players, we'll see a lot of guys play this half. And, See how it goes. On the flip side, how about the defense in that pass rush? Okay, we've had our moments. Um, you know, we'll see how consistent it is, but hopefully now that we're ahead, maybe we'll get a chance to rush some in the second half. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. All right, Steve, thank you. You got, got it. it. Coach Bill Belichick, I guess, let's throw it back upstairs, guys. Nice job, right, Bert. Steve, thanks so much. Along that same sideline stands Rob Nikovich. Rob, what are you looking forward to in the second half? I want to see some of the young guys fly around. Just in the first half, you saw the first team working well together. The inside backers were moving well, blitzing inside, blitzing outside. Good pressure from the defensive ends. So I think the first team defense did a really good job of getting after the quarterback. Now I want to see some of those younger guys get after the quarterback. Let me see some coverage. Let me see some blitzing. Let's see what they can do in the second half. Just let it let yourself go out there and fly around. That's what you have to do. That's how you make a football team. All right, thanks, Nate, as we get set for Jake Elliott to kick it off here at Gillette Stadium in the second half of this second game of the preseason. Zoe, your thoughts? I think my, tel I think my telestrator is fixed and it is working, which excites me because I, th I think at some point we're going to go down to our buddies downstairs. <laughs> and uh, I got a lot of requests that kind of went viral last week. Some things I could add to the telecast you know, with the use of the pen. That's kind of what I'm looking forward to in the second half, Bob. As your face lights up with excitement, <laughs> no doubt downstairs, a couple of guys are cringing. We'll get to that momentarily yeah. with a kickoff. I'm not scared. Through the end zone. I'm not scared, so, okay? 
<laughs> well, it's not you, Nick. How about Nick. Paul Perillo and Andy Hart down in the Bob's Discount oh, yeah. Furniture in the dungeon, Studio? Those guys in the dungeon, let's go to them. Yeah. yeah let's see can't wait. Thing. Can't wait to see what you're going to do in the second half, though. I tell you, I well, can't wait. wait. Uh, Keep it clean. Okay, I know. Well, I you're such hey, a child. Jimmy Buffett was in town. I got a lot of requests for grass skirts. Maybe we could put a couple grass skirts here. <laughs> Paul could use some Cover some things up here. That oh, What's right. that? No, come on. See, we're off on the Telestrator. It's not working. Good. Thank you. Whoever broke it, thank you. Now, Brian Hoyer took the final snap of the first half for a kneel down and takes the first snap of the third quarter with a gift to Mike Gillisley cruising forward and wrapped up. The All right, guys. Your thoughts Go looking ahead, ahead to the final 30 minutes here. You know, obviously, Bill Belichick talked about wanting to see a lot of different guys play in this half. For me, specifically, I'm looking for some defensive backs. Uh, you know, I'm going to go back to some of the guys we talked about last week. J.C. Jackson, obviously, Keon Cross, and had a very tough first half. We'll see if he can continue to play and maybe bounce back from that in the second half. But Jamal Wilt, some other guys that have been out there uh, throughout training camp. I want to see these guys play. I know there are a lot of backups in the game, but these guys need the reps, too. I'm looking at the offense. Brian Hoyer's on the field right now. He did not look very good last week. Of course the passing game looked better with Tom Brady on the field. Let's build a little confidence in the backup quarterback in these reps here. And Ralph Webb, the rookie running back. Nice second half last week. Let's build upon that the way Bentley has built upon it this week. Flash for another week. Interesting here too. Brandon Bolden into the game. Gillisley out. Hoyer tried to connect with Cordero Patterson on his first pass of the night. Now Brian facing a third and seven joined by Bolton in the backfield three to his right. And he's going to throw in that direction knocked down with a break on the ball by Avante Maddox. That's Decker there. Now that's that's a late ball by Hoyer out into the flat. I want to go back to that in cut. He tried to throw to Cordero Patterson on the left side. Felt like he drifted upfield a little bit. That's going to be the concern with him. We, we know he's fast. We know he can run. We saw that. You know, Brady tried to get him on a skinny post. Ball's a little high into the inside. Did he run the right depth? You know, Brady's been pretty accurate tonight with his throws. So all that's in play. Still yet to see the rookie free agent, Corey Bohorquez. Ryan Allen punts it away. Treggs has it for the Eagles. Brought down by Jordan Richards. Andy, Paul, don't feel so bad. A longtime Patriots assistant coach once told me that when you were in a meeting room and Scott Zolak was on the team, you didn't want to get Zolak. Now, his artistry, as we've seen with the Telestrator, is pretty good. Chris Paul is a terrific yeah. caricaturist. And, and I've been the subject of a caricature or two, I tried to say. But yeah, now, now I love Andre Tippett, as you know. And uh, <laughs> Tip told me a long time ago, because I know you like to draw people, I'm just going to tell you one thing. <laughs> Do not ever, ever <laughs> draw me, and we will never have a problem. The guy's in the Hall of Fame. Amazing. Hey, hey Zo, did you ever draw Bruce Armstrong? That was my next uh, question. No, I never did. Chicken. That's a different type of fear. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Jones on the rush for the Eagles. <laughs> you could <can> also. <laughs> yeah, there uh -oh. it is. Now, see, it where's my Don't. pen at? I get my Don't. pen out. Look at him. Look at him. Getting away. Let's see, we got these like guys wait. down here. Okay. Don't do, do box. Don't do it. That's all you got? <laughs> don't do it. We're missing, you don't, we're you missing don't key want reps. You to do Just it. so you know, Paul was chilly earlier, if you want to point that out. No. Oh, you were? Yeah, it's it's warmer now, though. Is that why all that glass down there was cut? Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> the former Redskin Jones again to carry for Philadelphia. Sutfeld stays on at quarterback for the Eagles. See what they do defensive pairing wise here in the secondary. Yeah, a lot of more lot. Deontay Davis here too with uh, Adam Butler. Two guys that played a lot in the first half. They're going to get a little bit more run here evidently. Were you guys shocked that Crosser got most of the work at nickel? Well you have to remember he is a little he's down the depth chart. You're talking about Cyrus Jones nothing yet. Duke Dawson out of action the yep. second round pick. Jonathan Jones coming off PUP still isn't back out there. He's so the guy. He's yeah, even guy. though Crossan's out there tonight with yeah. the quote unquote ones, he yeah. could be the fourth nickel corner and we wouldn't really know it right Good now. Good point. Or they could go, they could go three safeties like they like yep. to do too. They love that. Yeah, they have a lot of different combinations that they use, and we've seen them all pretty much during the summer. Three safeties, three corners, combinations of, of all of those different things, but 
the, the larger point, I thought when Jonathan Jones came back from PUP and he started taking part in 11 on 11, he was the guy. It yeah. looked like he was the guy that was in the slot, and he actually played pretty well. I thought he came up with a, a number of pass deflections in the first couple of days that he took part in full team action. See, Crossan went out there, in came Pleasant. Pleasant was a guy at the beginning of camp was getting these type of reps. So it's not much to read into. And I know a lot of people like to do the ups and downs. They're just trying to find out if guys can play. And there's Pleasant closing in on Jones with the drop. And Paul, you mentioned Jonathan Jones out on the practice field. Last year, we saw him go down in the AFC divisional round. In fact, he was defending Eric Decker. So the Patriots with the confidence last year got a lot of time in the postseason until that injury, playing as that third cornerback. And you said it. He came back on the field after really a long layoff from live drills. 11 on 11 drills and he looked good out there. Yeah and who was he covering Bob Eric, Eric Decker, Decker a lot. Yeah <laughs> and he was knocking the ball away coming off a torn Achilles too and that's not an easy injury to come back from and I know uh, you know these guys they have these injuries and there's no two injuries that are the same but he's looked I thought he looked really good looked fluid right off the go uh, when he came back yeah, and those guys are hitting out there these guys are going to you know they're, they're still looking for, to earn their way into the National Football League and this is how you got to do it. Love it. I mean you got to go out here and put a, you know I, I was going to say put a hat on someone but you can't do that anymore. I don't but know how that's not lowering your helmet though. Yeah I, I know. <laughs> Thank I you. That's why that's I stopped myself. What is Ming. that? What how is that? that different than the other one? That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> but what did Brad Allen told us in that meeting guys. If we think it's there we're going to throw it. Meaning throw the flag because what we're trying to do this preseason is get a lot of those throws those flags on film and then they're going to sort of put it through the strainer and figure out what they like or don't like. Big picked off by Sam on the deflection. Oh. And the youngster out of Arizona State steps out of bounds. A turnover for the Patriots defense. Second of the night. Right off the face mask. <laughs> Sudfeld betrayed by his intended receiver Jones. Sam Bonk. with a theft. Rookie Christian Sam drafted by the Patriots out of Arizona State joins his classmate Joan Bentley with the takeaway tonight. Sam intercepting a deflected pass. And in the break thereafter. Members of our armed forces recognized in the role of honor as they should be. Brian Hoyer coming back toward Henry Poggi incomplete a late flag with Hoyer dropped on the play. It's going to be hitting a quarterback in the leg. Stephen Means personal foul with the pressure. Well from the passer defense low hit on the quarterback 15 yard penalty automatic first down. Yeah, it's a point of emphasis that they've been trying to make over the years. You just look at the legs of the quarterback defenseless turn balls out. Ooh, mm -hmm. fall on the back of that left leg and Brian's a guy who uh, tore his ACL when he's in Cleveland. Back in 2013 as the quarterback of the Browns with whom he was 10 and 6 as a starter. Counter give to Gillisley trying to get outside. He does across the 30. And a first down run and more with another marker on the lowering. So last week we saw a couple peel back blocks that drew flags. Personal foul. Defense number 41. I don't know how Lower this is. Lowering the head initiating insane. contact. 15 yard it's penalty a, it's to the end of the run. Penalty. Automatic first down. Wow. Jeremy Reeves. Okay, Gilsley outside. What? Watch how. Oh, that's that's. He I called that on 41. Yeah. Okay, Gilsley watch cuts the, inside. Watch the, back. watch the running back. Running back ducks down. He initiated That's contact. Crazy. Gillisley initiates the contact. Good luck with this rule this year. The NFL is creating a nightmare with this rule. So Gillisley, there's Patterson stock blocking. Gillisley sees him. Watch, ducks the head. He ducks his head. Oh man. It's gonna be a hey, Rob. lot of money exchanging. Hey Rob. Picture yes. a divisional game late in December. Oh yeah. 20 to 17 Oof. or 20 to 16. You're driving and you need you need six. You can't kick a field goal. And if something like that gets called against you, you get backed up. 15 yarder. 
screen to Patterson. Made a man miss into the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots. I mean, there's going to be different teams winning different games now. All right, we know that this is going to be one of Patterson's routes moving forward. There's Brady smiling, slapping bums and all that. But watch the move by Patterson. It's all about the footwork, the feet. Here it is. He gets the catch. Oh, man. Night, night. That's one of those whoop. whoop. Do that to Jalen Ramsey week two, and I'll be uh, I'll be giddy <laughs> in the other booth next to me. <laughs> so let's, okay, we like the move. He's quick. We get it all. That's going to be a route of his. Please do that in a regular season. Gostkowski with a point after. Interception by Sam eventually sets up the screen and a touchdown for Patterson. You got to love when the Patriots capitalize on turnovers. You flip the field. You start to drive the football. A little short motion. And here's the quick flip to Cordero Patterson. Take a look at it right there. One, two, three, four. Philadelphia Eagle defenders there. That's a big one right there. Take that. Put that in the playbook. Check mark that one. Learn about this defense too, Bob. They're about force and turnovers. Four three and outs. You had a fumble you returned for a touchdown. Bentley did that off of uh, the Claiborne hit on Nick Foles. You got the interception right there. One loss of downs and you got one touchdown. So defense getting the job done tonight. Another marker on the return by Rashard Davis. See, I see a lot of Paul helmets. brings him down. I see a lot of helmets stuck in there, but there's no calls. I mean, <laughs> maybe we do have one. Sorry. <laughs> Bill Vinovich and his crew, like the rest of the officials in the league, trying to sort out the new helmet rule. We've heard from him a lot tonight. Whew. Man. And so you talked about our conference with Brad Allen, last week's official. There's uncertainty for the guys on the field. You really feel for them in a way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He said that, too. He's like, we got to make calls just to make sure we could go back, study our film, and let's get what, what is right right and what's wrong. Let's not call it. Illegal formation. Kicking team number 83 was out of the box. box. Penalties Jeez. declined. Philadelphia ball, first down. Well, the New England Revolution are enjoying tonight's game. Head coach Brad Friedel has his entire team in attendance. They've got a big one coming up in Washington in the hunt for a playoff spot on Sunday evening when they take on D.C. United. The whole <laughs> broadcast is on 98.5, the Sports Hub, televised nationally on FS1 at 7.30. Wayne Rooney oh. suiting up for D.C. United. Uh, we have Coach Friedel on every week with us. We like to call Friedel and the Beatles. Go to the new stadium in D.C. A throw on the move by Sudfeld. And he connects with Treggs. Nice hard throw there. Sam nearby. We saw yesterday that Jeremy Hill is a soccer fan among many on the Patriots yeah. team. Sporting his Bayern Munich jersey. Was that it? I don't, he seemed I don't. to be really knowledgeable, not too. The biggest he was not just here. a guy that liked the, the, the fashion, the soccer fashion. Um, I don't know. I'll defer on that. Rob? We saw Rob Nikovic in his Croatian soccer shorts last week. I had to wear those for the Bill Belichick interview. Which one is stretchy pants? They're both Croatian. <laughs> These are a little bit looser, but they're the same brand, same size, okay? Nice hit. Same brand, same size. Different color. Jones on the rush. There Sam on the stop. I went I went untucked, a little bit more casual with Jordans. Okay. It's a good look. It's with nice the Tom Brady watch, Tom gave me that. You had the, the shorts on the other day. Bill had the Croatia lacrosse sweatshirt mm, yeah. on this week. Nothing better than hunky lacrosse. <laughs> Good old Croatia. We're all Eastern Europeans. Backs deep. Takes a step. Let's see if he steps up. Steps up. Protection. There it is. Play fake by Sutfeld. Throwing down the sideline as an open man. Incomplete. Oh, was that a nice pull? Good throw to Drake's. He might have tweaked the hamstring trying to make the play. Oh, you better get that jam. <laughs> you see what happens. He doesn't get the jam. He turned and he's looking for help right away. Yeah, he did pull up, Bob. A little bit of a hammy. 
Take a look at the hamstring. It's tough. Maybe a cramp. Sometimes you can get a cramp there. Lefty. Yeah, sore. And he's gone down in a great indicator, Rob. You, you, you know to the back moving up. What are some of the other things, the subtle things you would look for? Maybe with an offensive lineman you were going against. Well, yeah, that's my number one key is the guy I'm going against. But number one, I come out, I look at the, the defensive back position. Is he deep? Is he tight? Is he wide? Is he close to the quarterback? Um, then I look at the formation. Where's the receivers at? Are they close? Are they nasty? Where's the ball at on the field? All those things go into what they're going to run. Um, so for me, if the back's behind the quarterback, I'm always going to alert draw or some type of action where he's stepping to the quarterback and he could receive the ball if he's flush with the quarterback steps in front of the quarterback then I'm thinking he's in protection. Here comes Treggs walking to the sideline. Yeah that's stiffened up on him. He couldn't even make it past midfield. He's been with San Francisco and Cleveland in the past. There's no stripes on these helmets. Sometimes you can tell where guys are going just by where they're looking. The stripes looking one way. I guess where the wings are directed. It's almost it's better off if you're a defender to play against a quarterback that does have those stripes because you can tell when they cut the field off. It's one thing I noticed when we were out in San Francisco calling those games with Kaepernick. You could tell which way hey, I'm going left or I'm going right. Uh oh, wake up, boys. Muppets are down here taking a nap. So I thought I'm third and long. Moves up. And a good catch by Carter. Jamal Wiltz had the coverage initially for the Pats. Crossing Richards eventually come over on a DeAndre Carter on a gain of 22. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little match in zone here. So that's not, that's not man. You can tell him calling it off in the middle. You saw Sam tap his helmet, so he's looking at help from the right side. It's basic zone right there. Sudfeld had been with Washington, let go by the Redskins, picked up on the Philly practice squad a year ago before he joined the active roster. Now across the middle with the throw. Gibson with the grab, tackled in the open field by Crossett. Good to see Keon Crossett after a difficult first half. Get back out there, at least make some plays. Yeah, you just got to keep playing. Take advantage of opportunities. You're getting really, really good reps. Hey, it may not have worked out for you in that first half, but. They're going to look at the competition you're playing against, look at the people who are behind you. Are you in the right spot? And can you build off it? Can you coach up mistakes? And he's the big a guy. thing Bill likes too is to, sorry, Bob. The big thing Bill really harps on is not making the same mistake twice. A screen set up for Jones. Upfield across the 25 with a cut inside the 20. Vincent Valentine. I love when I see the big guys making them tackles on the screens. That means they're turning and running. There's a lot of screens here tonight. You know, their offense is sort of predicated on that, too. Get the ball on. They got guys like Sproles and company. It's a quick, fast-paced, moving offense, and we saw that in the Super Bowl. Haven't seen Corey Clement tonight or Darren Sproles. Sudfeld lobs one incomplete. You know, the thing about a guy like Cross, and I was going to say, so he's a rookie with outstanding speed. Yeah. 100 meter champion in the Southern Conference, clocked at 433 in the 40 on his pro day at Wake Forest. Coming out of a small skill school, you know, maybe not with the skills, but he has the speed. Maybe he's a guy who doesn't make the roster, but he's someone they want to work with on the practice squad. Yeah, and you have to play special teams, too. And speed's the one thing you can't coach. Valentine, a third round pick out of Nebraska a couple of years ago, last season. His year short circuited by injury. And second down and 10. Pocket holds for Sudfeld to the end zone for Goddard, extending, knocked away by Richards. Great defense. That is, that's, that's as good a play that I've seen Jordan Richards make in a couple of years here because he plays the football. He knows he's beat. He can't turn and look for it. You know the catch is there. And so, what do you have left to do? Play the football, go knock it out. Through it's good pocket. timing. Bill loves that. He'll show that over and over again in the team. Rob, who's the guy that knocked it out in the corner against the Ravens? Slips my mind. Oh, Moore? Sterling Moore? Yeah, Sterling Moore. Sent us to the Super Bowl. Sure did. That type of play continued this Super Bowl. Again, same place, this time connecting for the touchdown. 
Sudfeld off the roll. It's a nice ball. That was a, that's a perfect a tough pass out of the to former me. Packer, Rodgers. It's hard to, away. hard to defend this ball when they put it there. <laughs> Where's a, he at? It's a Brady ball right there. Right there. It's tough. Tough yeah, to defend. Take a look perfect. at the split. Boom. Oh, man, there's a lot of area there. See, Jordan Richards, I mean, he couldn't have had help there because he's out in the flat. His job responsibility is to go to the flat. Someone might try and hang that on Richards. That's on the high safety there. Richard Rodgers with that grab. He caught eight touchdown passes from Aaron Rodgers several years ago. He's out of Shrewsbury, Mass. His Eagles have drawn within 34-14. The next game is brought to you by Ace Ticket, where New England fans go for all the tickets to their favorite events. Visit aceticket.com next Friday. Rob Gronkowski and the Patriots will be in Charlotte to take on the Carolina Panthers. We'll have it for you at 7.30. <laughs> a chance to see the Panthers with North Turner calling plays for Cam Newton. Hip hop Rob trying to act fly down there. I'm excited for that one. I mean, we've done, we've done some games down Carolina, some big ones. Of course, you remember the uh, Cleet, ba Cleet Blakeman no call game. Yeah, that was the Cam Newton big run, right? That was yeah. like quickly wrapping up Rob Gronkowski oh in the end zone. Cam Newton juked the, my shoes off of me. <laughs> well, I missed him twice. It's okay, he's pretty good. Devin Lucy and Andre for the pack. Wisely takes the knee for the touchback. Time now to ask Zoe. Oh boy. You can ask me anything. Hashtag Ask Zo at Scott Zolak. Do we have anything? Huh. The suspense to build. Drum roll, please. Oh, so we're, we're, wait, we may just be setting this up. Hashtag it Ask Zo. Or you can just follow oh. me on Twitter. Just ask me a question on Twitter. Ask Zo at Scott Zolak. Okay. We're going to check in a little bit later on. I don't know how you're not following me already. You join that? <laughs> no. It's quite an experience, especially. Around the holiday season when Rudolph yeah, is got, on? Well, I got a problem with that elf. <laughs> <laughs> Off play action. Hoyer oh, going deep for Patterson. Oh, Leaps and can't bring it in. Eventually broken up by Sidney Jones. Oh. Brian Hoyer is going to want this ball back. Because <laughs> Cordero, Cordero Patterson, I <laughs> mean, from a speed standpoint, gets up vertical, gets on the hips. He is just going to fly by guys this year. Oh, man, put that ball out there. Hoyer knows it, too. He may be one of those guys you just can't. And Randy Moss was the same way, and I'm not comparing him to Randy. But you can never, Tom always said that, you can never overthrow Randy. Never could do it. All right, now on second down, it's going to throw it short for Riley McCarron, driven out of bounds. Nice ball. Settle down, come back, hit it. Move the team. My first game in Gillette Stadium, 2007, I was with the Miami Dolphins, and Tom didn't break a sweat. Bombs over Baghdad to Randy Moss. Absolutely destroyed us. Them. I'm not a part of them. After a six-yard reception, third and four is Bolden. Motions into the backfield. Fire with a lot of time. Down the middle for Decker. He gets leveled. After that throw, whistled through his hands. That was going to be a tough one because he didn't get a chance to really flatten that out, and I knew he was looking at him. You could see it opening up, but that safety really jumped him from the top. That's a good ball. Decker's got to catch that. I'm sorry. He had a good a ball win. by Hoyer. A lot of drops this past week. The guy tried to learn the offense. We've seen a lot of Terry Decker through the years with three different teams. The Allen punt in the direction of Davis drives it back inside the 15. Pats have him on his feet. It's never good when you stop your feet. That's it. He's done. He's going to go See back you later. inside oh. the two. But does that remind you of the Chargers game last year when the return man for L.A. did a similar thing and good work by more and the Patriots defensively on the coverage unit. 56 yard punt, 11 in the wrong direction on the return. I would want to be in the meeting room.
tomorrow with him. What about me? A strong arm pro style quarterback, Etling was drafted by the Patriots this past spring. Born and raised in Terre Haute, Indiana, Etling is one of five children. Invited to the exclusive Elite 11 quarterback camp, Etling was a four star recruit coming out of high school. Etling orchestrated an historically efficient LSU offense his senior year, tying the NCAA record for fewest turnovers in a season. While earning distinction as an Eagle Scout, Danny led a service project at the Bethany House Homeless Shelter in his hometown. Welcome to New England, Danny. And we would expect to see the rookie quarterback a little bit later on in the second preseason game of 2018 for the Patriots and the Philadelphia Eagles. Backed up here. We start inside their two, down by 20. Sudfeld stays on at quarterback. And from the end zone, looks to throw. He heaves a long one for Gibson. And he makes the catch across midfield. What a ball. A beautiful throw with J.C. Jackson covering for the pass. And he had help with Jordan Richards, but Jordan Richards is not going to get there. Hey, this is what you do coming out. This is textbook. Take a shot. They call it a shot play for a reason. You're backed up. I mean, he had great positioning. He did a good job slowing his body down to allow the ball. See, that's what you do as a receiver. You got to give yourself some room to allow the quarterback to feed you to the boundary like that. That's a 57 yard strike from Sudfeld to Gibson after his touchdown throw to Rodgers. Oh, Sudfeld man. Checks it down. Another drop by Jones and another near interception for the pass. Oh, he missed it. He had a tight end running the seam route on the other side of the field, right at the top of the numbers, wide open down the middle of the field. They might come back to that play, though. Oh, I would. And he's just staring at staring at middle, middle, middle. He didn't even take a peek backside. See, at that point, too, you're so gassed after hitting the big play. You're trying to take care of your lineman. You're sitting there. You want to hit a little check down. Just let everybody to get their win. Jones had the ball carry him off his shoulder pads. Picked off by Sam Erler. Sudfeld in trouble. Davis with the initial pressure. And it's the second man who's there for the sack. Vincent Valentine cleans up. Again, four bodies up front. Their ability to rotate guys and keep them fresh. See, that's a key there. I mean, once you get to a certain point, take that defender, push him into the quarterback's lap off the edge. And so Keontae Davis getting a lot of time tonight out of Chattanooga. Didn't play last year, had a neck injury coming out of college, slipped through the draft. He's one of those high ceiling athletes making an impression this evening. Third and ten now, Sudfeld. The pocket squeezing down. Moves oh. away and offhand. connects with Ward. See that offhand crossing. Crossing. crossing right there at that right hand. He's got to get in there and knock it down. He's got to knock that ball down. He had a good angle on it. You're going to have to be doing that in three weeks, man. Especially if you're going to be playing a nickel. Some of these three wide receiver sets you're going to see in the regular season. Everybody's running 4 3, 4 4. And a fourth down attempt coming up for the Eagles as Brian Flores looks on. Decade and a half on the Patriots coaching staff. He's worked in just about every capacity on the staff from a BC Eagle. Sudfeld hit and throws incomplete. Quarterback goes down, dropped from the blind side. And Gino Grissom, who had a couple of sacks in last year's playoff win over Tennessee, applying the pressure. Yeah, Gino Grissom, a key special team contributor, too. Again, around the edge. How many times tonight have we seen a Patriots, the outside edge guy, get around one of these tackles on the left side and kill the quarterback? A good amount, Zoe. Pretty pumped up. They look good. Brian Hoyer stays on for the Patriots, and he flexes out Jeremy Hill. So the pass will go empty here after another fourth down stop by New England's defense. A hand signal from Hoyer to Hill. Oh, and an early movement. A false start. False start. Offense number 84. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Can't want to ask his hose here, Bob. 
a lot Sporting of questions. through the questions. I'm not, I'm not touching the shark stuff, okay? I don't know <laughs> when the next one's going to happen. I told you it's going to happen this month. Bear or shark? Which one's tougher to fight? Bears are tough. One of my favorite movies, uh, The Great Outdoors. Hill on the run for the Patriots. I'll defer to Rob Gronkowski since he was featured on Shark Week. Did Brady see a bear in Montana this year? He did. He did? Yeah. Got an injured Philadelphia defender, Trey Sullivan. Try to stretch out that leg. That may be a cramp as Rob Gronkowski. The aforementioned reality TV star looks here's on. A good, here's a good one here. Biggest difference between Patricia and Flores. Now, it's early. And less, 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 <laughs> less hair, less, less facial I mean, hair. Matt's been around the game, I mean, other than appearance. No, but I, I did talk about this with people, too. I think, I think they're moving more in the front seven, where Matt is more of a, let's line it up and play. If it's a 3-4, we got our three down, you're going to be shaded here. There's probably going to be more flexibility. Now, that could be a personnel thing. And Rob, you can speak to this, too. If you have more athletic guys, if, you know, the, the Rivers, the Wises, um, Flowers when he comes back. You want those guys not to be in a three-point stance, right? You want to be able to move them around a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a little difficult. We've only really watched a very small portion of right. work here for B-Flow. B but, you know, Matty was was always trying to be the ultimate game plan guy. So, you know, there's a, there's a balance there of game plan versus just go play. So, you know, we'll see how it is here in the first couple of weeks of the regular season. Um, I think we'll have a better understanding of, of the type of schemes that we're running. Player with a give to Hill. Oh my! Upended, and the ball fumble, came fumble. loose. What? Officials are going to rule him down as that ball popped free. Jeremy Reeves. Lucky. Like Rolling on the field. The, as the runner was down by progress. Third down. Down yeah. by contact. Watch Hill here. Come up inside. I guess that takes the helmet away. You just go for the ankles. Ooh. He lands right on his right on his neck on the back. He's gonna have a sore neck tomorrow. Now he did not leave with his helmet there, Rob. He led with his helmet to the ankle. <laughs> How far? We're looking for Patterson. That might be a good luck with this rule. Good yeah, that, luck. That rule's tough. I mean, this is uh, it's going to be a complicated process. And it, again, I keep deferring to Brad Allen what he told us. They're going to call these. And it's going to be a complicated process. And we'll talk about this more after. I think we're going to be talking about it all season long. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stephen Means was shaken up initially for Philadelphia. Makes his way off the field. And Davis is deployed once again, waiting on a Ryan Allen punt. And for the second straight week, the wave rolls around Gillette Stadium with a punt headed toward Davis. Harrison. Under it. Good try to escape. And the Patriots bottle him up. Richards, Poji, Lee surrounding Rashard Davis. Yeah, I, I, I got to be consistent because on my radio show, I kill the wave. So you can't be a fraud and do this and say, wow, the wave's great. I know it's family night and all that. I think the wave first we're, started we're rolling better, around stadiums when you were in a mullet. We're better than the wave. In a red Corvette in we're Western Pennsylvania. Oh, I just want to. <laughs> you know what? You want to do something? Make make the wave go backwards. Here we go. I'm not making. We can't do the wave. The truck is telling us to do the wave. And the wave's on the other side of the stadium. <laughs> I got to wait for the wave. It's Look coming at this back guy here. How big is this guy? Whoa. See, that, that tells Jared is not fixed. Here it comes. You ready to go? It's coming, Bob. I'm not doing a wave. I'm not doing it. Sudfeld on the crossing round with a wide open Greg Hoare, the second catch of the night. Tonight's positional battle brought to you by Verizon Wireless. Let's talk cornerbacks. I mean, you look at the top two right there on both columns. I think as of right now, this guy's your starter along with this guy. Now, let's figure other things out. <laughs> I think ideally they want Jonathan Jones, when he gets healthy again, 
to ideally probably be that nickel guy. This guy, Jason McCourty, what is, what's, what's he gonna be here? He got beat pretty good for a touchdown here today. He didn't play last week. I know they think highly of him. But the bottom line, he's still gonna get out there and get a play. Sudfeld, I mean, we Bonding saw, Goddard. We saw Jason Jackson fly around, make plays on camp. But he's also given up plays. You got another flag down here. Gain of 28. Should be PI defense, right? Personal foul. Defense number 37. Lowering the head to initiate contact. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Okay, ball's thrown. Oh, go, go away. Give me a break. I, wow. Okay, Jordan Richards does a good job sliding his feet, sliding his feet. What do you want him to do? Tackle with the chest and hug him? Did you get a view of that, Nick, at all? Yeah, I did. I, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, actually. I'm telling you, I can't wait till there's a tight game. Wait till we get, like, the Pittsburgh in December. And someone's got the cojones to call that one. Another flag on the field. Sudfeld great, great with another beautiful throw to Davis this time on the receiving end for the Eagles. They got, though there is a marker down. They got three pretty good quarterbacks, I mm -hmm. tell you. Mm -hmm. Came out of Indiana. I got a sixth-round pick of the Redskins. Adding a layer of depth for the Eagles First behind Wentz and Foles. Face mask. Defense number 37. Oh, boy, he's having a penalty being too. forced on the kickoff. He's on the play. Wow. Touchdown. Man. Top of your screen. A little shake to the inside. You get a little bit of a push. There's no way Pleasant. Pleasant with a bad angle at the top. See, he's peeking inside. So you give it any time, Rob, correct me if I'm wrong. If you're the outside defender and you're in, and you're the corner and you jump outside and give him inside release and push him up, aren't you expecting high safety help? Yeah, the quarterback did, you know, he looked off the safety like center of the field. If you look at his eyes, he was, okay. looking, he was staring him off and then he went right to that corner. So they get they have good quarterback play. That I mean that's a perfect ball, but oh, it's you a great watch ball. Him start of the snap, he's looking right in the middle of the field. Good toink. Elliott had an outstanding rookie season on field goals, including his 61-yarder, a game winner against the Giants, but he struggled with extra points. Missed three of them last season. Had a miss in the Super Bowl, and he misses here. Let's go downstairs to Andy Hart. We were talking cornerbacks. Andy, your thoughts on that group for the Pats? You know, I think it's an interesting group, and we talked about it a little bit earlier with Cyrus Jones and Jonathan Jones coming off of PUP. When you know they're getting back on the field in 11 on 11 reps when are they ready for game action what's the expectation of what they can bring to start the season and then Jason McCourty is the ultimate wild card we saw everything all spring where he didn't take a lot of reps he deemed himself healthy said he wasn't dealing with anything plays tonight and I agree with Zoe I think they love the McCourty family they love the work ethic the leadership but at some point you got to get on the field and prove you can still cover somebody struggled a little bit tonight so I think he's the wild card in terms of the roster bubble. Yeah, and, and one other thing to keep in mind, guys, I think Cyrus Jones is, is sort of a wild card, too, to steal Andy's phrase, maybe as a punt returner. And we haven't really get, gotten to see him take yeah. any live reps yet, but he's caught a ton of punts in his time on the practice field. And with Julian Edelman out, they're going to need somebody that they can rely on. And I know people might be smirking when I say rely on, but he has been excellent. His ball security has been outstanding on the practice field. That wasn't the case last year, and it wasn't the case as a rookie. So... He might be able to steal a job, at least initially, and then work his way back into the rotation in the secondary. It's interesting. I agree with all that. I mean, that's, yeah. and that's just by going what you're seeing. You guys are at every practice. You, see, you know, the play doesn't lie out here. You can love a player as much as you want, but bottom line, it's this is a business, and you're going to keep the best 53. You got to do what's right for your football team. And really, I think it's, it's pretty competitive opposite Gilmore. I think it's Rose's job to lose right now. The 10th year quarterback player stays on. A give through a big hole for Hill. Tripped up across the 30. I, I like Jeremy Hill. You know, he didn't play a lot in the first half here. It's fun. It's interesting because I thought we might not see him tonight. I thought they were going to probably give the ball to Gillsley a little bit more to see if he could respond. Hill was really good last week. And then now here we see him in the second half. He almost breaking a couple. Hill part of that pipeline from LSU. 
Of course, the Pats have had a couple of good ones. A great one in the Hall of Famer, Team Hall of Famer Kevin Falk out of Louisiana State. Stephen Ridley right followed. There, four yards. Right there's up. good work by Hill for a first down. Another five yards at least. It's probably on it. That for, rush. Probably it for this quarter. I'll squeeze in one more. Ask Zoe. So what's your go to party jam to get it going. Um, ooh, good one. Let's say anything by uh, Flow Rider or Pipple. Well we see Etling in the fourth quarter. For now it's Hoyer as that we head the to the fourth quarter. here in Foxborough. Two of the 2018 preseason Patriots with a 20. A 34 20 advantage over the Eagles and Brian Hoyer. Trying to set up Brandon Bolden incomplete on the drop. Devin Lucian in the game now. Guy was pretty productive last week. Got a lot of ton of time. Had some big catches there at the end of that second half to generate some momentum. From the eye, Poji in front of Bolden. Brandon takes the handoff. Works his way across the 45 into Eagle territory. Whirling to the 45 of Philadelphia. Brought down by Reeves. See, it's just it's just a bonus to have a guy like this on the roster. Knows the system, has been around, loves the area, lives here, works out, leg churn. He's on every special teams unit. Flex him out. They threw him the ball in Denver a couple of years ago. We saw him catch a touchdown in the snow, a deep one. Seventh year, making a living in this league, just doing his job. Thought he had the line of the year last season. Talking about an opportunity to make the Patriots out of Ole Miss as a rookie free agent staying with the team even after he was released. Last preseason then resigned takes the handoff here runs it to the right and he's bumped out of bounds. It's not going out of bounds. <laughs> you know he, he said Bill Belichick gave him an opportunity. Yeah. He said I ran with it and he hasn't caught me yet. That's a good one. He's a running back too though. It's not like he threw it to himself. And you know, Rob, in that running back room, there's always been a great chemistry, it seems, and the turnover exists every year. Brandon Bolden is the one glue guy who's, who's been there, at least in the time the zone I've called the games, going back to 13. Yeah, no, he's a great teammate, and every time he's on the field, he makes a play. So, I mean, you see him right now. He's got great vision. Look at that play. Wow. Cut back, slip the hit. He's got great vision, and he knows how to run with the ball. When did he have the knee injury? Was it two years ago? But I mean, I, th I think a couple years ago. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I here's think he's had like you know little stuff when you're a running back. It's tough. Here's his know? last two plays. He turns a the corner there. He's not stepping out of bounds. You got Chris Long <laughs> laughing at him, slapping around with him. And then he, to your point, Rob, he just had that little spin move inside there, picking up some big yards. Now replaced by Gillisley behind Poji. Second and short give. Gillisley. Has the first down and the play stands. Got a late flag coming in. I think back to 2014 after the loss to Green Bay. Rob, you guys went out to San Diego and Brandon Bolden had a blocked punt. Yeah, I mean, he's one of those guys that when you have a that special team ace, use hands. and then he can hands go out the there face. and play an offensive play that's very productive. Five yard penalty. It's the best of both worlds. Automatic first you down. Know? So Brandon's a very, very good all around football player. Yeah, they, they've been nailing these calls for two weeks, too, the hands to the face. It's I think that point, it's big points of emphasis that. over the last couple of years here, but that's it's a big advantage for a defender to take your neck and throw it back and get your hands and grab your face mask. I'm just glad they're calling it that way. You know how many times I've been punched right in the face? A lot. They don't, <laughs> they don't call it the other way around. The toss of the Gillis Lee worked his way back inside into a crowd. We got a shot of Josh McDaniels before that last play. We've talked a bit tonight about the transition defensively from Matt Patricia to Brian yeah. Flores. And Rob, one of the things, and so that Bill Belichick did when he arrived as head coach here, he began a pipeline, bringing in young college grads, yeah. recent grads, starting them from the ground up so they could learn various aspects of personnel and scouting and coaching. And he's been able to maintain continuity through the years despite changes on the staff. Players. Firing for Bolden. Pass broken up. That's a tough one to complete. Yeah, Hoyer took a shot there too. A little late though. It looked a little late to me. Yeah. yeah, that was more than two steps. Yeah. 
That's a good no call. It's not like he lowered the shoulder, lowered the boom, drove his body into the ground. And Joe Wasserman with a shove to Brian Hoyer after the throw. Where's Patterson at? A little post corner here. Come on. Yeah, Patterson at the bottom of your screen, alongside McCarran. Hoyer going for him, rolling with the grab. Split gave that one away. <laughs> That's gonna be fourth. Comes your boy Gostowski again there, uh, Nico. Me? He could have been say what last week is good golfer, good everything, huh? Yeah, Steve's pretty good. Baseball. It's pretty he's really good. It's just the, you know, eye hand coordination, golf, we go golf every once in a while, he's a lot better than me. 29 yard try is converted. The former pitcher at Memphis with another field goal for the Patriots here in Foxborough, where James White scored one of the Patriots' touchdowns this evening. Christian Sam with a pick. But a good night all around. Welcome back to Gillette Stadium, everyone. Patriots up 37 to 20 over the Philadelphia Eagles. And for the Pepsi close up. How about the man of the hour, Tom Brady? 19 for 26, 172 yards, two touchdown passes, zero picks. Tom Brady is on Pepsi Plus. Guys, take it away back upstairs. All right, Steve Burton, thanks so much. We will see you on the fifth quarter. We saw Tom Brady tonight again complete 19 of 26 passes, 172 yards, the two touchdown passes to Hogan and White. Davis retreats on the kickoff by Gostkowski for the touchback. What do you think those two are talking about? Pliability. Like Maybe they're they're wondering what questions our fans want to ask Zoe. So without further ado, sup Zoe. After watching Patterson today, what potential do you think he has to become Brady's number three target or better this year? Oof. I mean, number three or better? That could be, uh, it could be a tough one. See, the big thing is, I think you need to find a combination of guys to replace what Cooks did, get to that 60-plus catch area. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be Gronkowski when Edelman gets healthy. That's his guy. Nice play there, a little flip. Oh my! Night night. Woo! Sorry about that. I get excited seeing those hits. Wow. Um, back to Patterson here too. It's going to be sort of a spot thing for him. We saw him do what tonight? Catch two little slip screens down the line of scrimmage. They're going to try to get him the ball deep. But my concern is going to be not here third quarter against twos and threes and fours. Down on the road in Jacksonville, you got to go up against Ramsey and Bouye. And which guy's drawing him? And they're going to be in his hip pocket. Can he shake him? And you got to develop that trust with Brady. If you do that, then you can become his number three guy. So that felt pressured once again, the youngster. Harris had a strip sack last week, applying the heat. Let's move on to the next question. Ask Zoe. All right, pretend you're stuck on an island. Which Patriots player, past or present, is your last best hope for a rescue? Oh, God. I would picture, I would, I was going to take Gronk and like say, hey, you want to just party on an island with him the whole time. But then you think, which guy floats the best? <laughs> Or say you run out of food. <laughs> I mean, you ever see that movie with the soccer team that went down in the end? Was that the Andes? Sudfeld heaves one to Gostkowski, who makes it a great play you on the sideline. You know what? <laughs> that movie's called Alive. And by the way, since Nikovich says Gostowski does everything good and right and, and is, is, is good at everything, I'd probably take Gostowski because he could fashion a bed, he could fashion fire, he could find water. One of my hey, Tom Hanks. You know what? I'm a bit disappointed in you, though. You, what? you played with a guy, and you're still close to a guy who was a Navy man. He left Navy early, early. but he, <laughs> nonetheless, he's told to leave you know? early. All right. <laughs> nonetheless, you know. I'd be the last guy to be on that island. <laughs> I love him to death. <laughs> I had to get his name in. He'd be standing there looking at me to do something. One of our favorites, Max Lane, the mighty Max Lane. McCarron with a very catch on the punt from Johnston. 
All right. Talk about his athletic ability. Look at that. His back doesn't hurt his neck. Brady tried that cool, too. It's a 37-20 lead for the Pats over the Eagles. Home fans having fun tonight. 15 and 12 there on the screen. Part of the drive of the game brought to you by Toyota Tundra. Go to your money guy right there, James White. It's a quick little flip to the outside, give underneath. Look at the feet right here, watch it bounce. A seven yard drive, I mean, excuse me, seven play drive, and of course, boy, we cut it off Aaron. We had the uh, touchdown pass to Chris Hogan. Can't, can't forget that one. Let's take another peek at that touchdown to Chris Hogan. Brady improvising, sliding up in the pocket, buying extra time. Look at that, with this new helmet and everything. There it is, 12 to 15. Wreck it, Ralph, wreck it, Ralph Webb back in. Get after Webb, it. The rookie free agent out of Vanderbilt accounted for 16 points last week for the Pats. Hoyer to Patterson. Behind him. Nice catch. Seems Patterson likes his uh, new role, playing a little receiver. Didn't catch the ball a lot last year with the Oakland Raiders, his best year as a receiver with Minnesota back in 2016, 50 plus catches with a look at Ralph Webb, the youngster from Vanderbilt. It's a little like John Ledge. It's a good call. Driving forward, fighting for a yard on the rush. It's Ralph Webb from last week. Toss flip to the left side. And that nose for the goal line, he gets in. Of course, two-point conversion. Yeah, rushed for two Filled touchdowns. It. Kid was filling. Caught a pass for two points. Ran it in for two. Now he leaks up. Pete, catch the up. throw and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. See, that's the one he's got to catch. Wait, let those guys get set. You can't be able to make the first guy miss in this league. Look at the depth chart for the Patriots running backs. No right, Burkhead tonight. Haven't seen Michelle yet. We know James White. We've seen Brandon Bolden for seven years. Realistically, he's your fourth back. Burkhead's going to be flexed in the slot. We'll use him as they use Edelman. Like what I've seen out of Jeremy Hill. Tony Michelle, first round pick. He's not going anywhere. It's going to be a tough going for Mike Gillisley to make this football team. I like him. It's going to be a tough, long road for him to make the football team. Gillisley in the second year of his two-year deal. Patriots signed him as a former Buffalo Bill. Lucien unable to make the play on that throw by Hoyer. I hear the Muppets chirping down there. We're always chirping. What's so going on? Ready. What are you laughing at? What are you Burkhead. You know, Rex Burkhead is the guy that I like. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, unfortunately he's not healthy now, but I think he's had the best camp out of all those running backs. I think he's been certainly the most versatile, and he just looks really quick, looks fresh. Got to keep him healthy, though. Yep. It seems like, and that's right, Paul. It seems like every time, like, he's ready to pop, yep. something creeps up. I remember down there at that Saint game, he caught that nice seam route for a touchdown. Boom. Ribs went. Pittsburgh got the leg rolled up. Another timeout here in the fourth in Foxborough. We are back in Foxborough. Time to ask Zoe once again. Who surprised you so far in the preseason? Hollister, the tight end. I, I've been talking about this kid. You hear about guys that make the jump in the spring and talk about leadership, the spacing. You saw him tonight. They put him out there with the ones. I think he has the bill. You know why I like him? Former quarterback. Not only that, it reminds me of my old buddy Frank Wycheck. Frank Wycheck wasn't your, you know, quintessential tight end, meaning six foot six, six seven, kind of a six three, six four guy, but he could be like a move H back. I can envision them using Hollister as an H back and moving him in formation because really the big boy, 87, he sets coverage. Seems like his kid likes a weight room too. Put a surfboard on him. Now give him that. Probably drives a Jeep. Hat on backwards. Look at him, yeah. He can carry a tune as well. He's an outstanding singer, as is tw his twin brother. Unfortunately, Cody Hollister. On the show for the year, he 
because of back surgery. Sudfeld dancing around, buying time. The outlet's in the end with Jones on the run. Past the 30, driven down eventually by Harris. Zoe, will you ever go swimming in the ocean again? Uh, yeah, down in the uh, Caribbean where the water is clear. Up here. Mm -mm. I mean, I, it's their world, right? You're talking about the sharks. I mean, we protect seals. I understand. I'm not, we're, not, we're not getting into all this stuff with nature. We're not going to do it because they're going to get calls. And someone's going to complain. The thing's, the thing's three tons. They're 18 feet long. They have teeth. And they keep replenishing those teeth when they lose teeth. Go watch the movie. All they do is swim, they eat, and they make baby sharks. This is what I felt. <laughs> I mean, checked out this ain't know. rocket science, folks. <laughs> Most attacks happen in three feet of water. These are facts. You're a fact guy. Not a fat guy, but a fact guy. You like facts. I'm giving you the facts. I called it. I called it. You know I called it. I thought I was going to be a kid from the North Shore, but yeah. Two worlds collide here. The midday sports talk, world of Scott Zolak and the Patriots Eagles. They tried to do it. They tried to talk preseason Celica. today. Then they tried to do some Red Scott Sox Zolak. stuff. And it went two hours of shark versus a bear, <laughs> which is worse. Seriously. Bears? Bears can give you some problems. Well, you had some bears in your neighborhood. There's a Rentham bear earlier this year. Yeah. I think I could take a black bear. <laughs> Grizzly, it's over. Rob, you ever get any bears in uh, Foxborough? No, no bears. No. They're out there, bud. You just I saw a coyote wolf once. Coyote and a wolf mixture. A what? Coyote wolf. It's like coyote and a wolf. I'm telling you, it looks like a mangy. How do you know it wasn't a wolf with mange? No, it was. It looked like a coyote, but it was big and it looked all mangy and gross. There's no way people miss Randy Cross right now. I'm sorry. It's a coyote wolf. I call it a coyote wolf. Sunfeld to Jones. Can we diagram the new CBS bar? <laughs> this this may be, a, this is a great tease for week four of the preseason. Still about uh, four and a half minutes to go here in week two. Imagine what it's going to be like. Cross used to like the fourth quarter of week four. Yeah, we're, we'll stay away from that stuff, but uh, yeah. yeah, please do. Good luck to the new place right there. Looks pretty. Sunfeld airs it out and well, Lane Johnson, he dropped it, doesn't have the hands of Steven Gostkowski. I wonder if Lane Johnson is upset that he didn't find a hostile environment that he thought he was going to walk into. Did you see his comments this week? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of comments coming out of that locker. Like, they got, they won the Super Bowl, right? They got to worry about this year. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Last year's over. Toughest thing to do in sports is repeat or try and do it again. It's not easy. Lane Johnson in the aftermath of the Super Bowl win, orchestrated by Doug Peterson in his second year for the Eagles. Johnson turned the Patriots a fear based organization. Some Patriots players are like robots. The set belt is going to go down. And the Pats are having a lot of fun tonight at the quarterback's expense. And that'll be a sack for Keontae Davis. He's earned it. I know the defense has played well, but from a Philly perspective, you know, you have your franchise quarterback in Wentz. You look at what Nick Foles did for you. Yeah, that's nice mixing and matching here, just running some games up front. Everybody's staying in their lanes on defense. That's a nice job. But this kid Sudfeld can play too. Mm -hmm. There's things that happen in this league. Trade deadlines come. Yeah, people get hurt. And you know, we were in a situation a couple years ago where you thought you had the best, or not a couple, a year ago. Thought you had the best one, two, three position in the league. Brady, Garoppolo, and uh Perset. McCarran on the run. Eventually forced out of bounds. All right, let's go downstairs. Andy Hart, Paul Perlo. Your thoughts as you look ahead to next week, and let's keep it to football. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't want to be drawn on. We all know it's the all-important third preseason game. I'd like to see everybody get out there. We saw what the difference is made with Brady tonight. Let's get Gronk in the mix. We didn't see Hightower tonight, but we saw the defense step up and make plays. You start to really put it all together in that game and see what you're going to be a couple weeks later in the opener against Houston. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking uh, several years back, Tampa Bay in the preseason, there was a defensive performance similar to this. There were guys coming from everywhere. 
tonight it was Patrick Chung, linebackers Kyle Van Noy, Jawan Bentley all over the backfield. Is that what we're going to see defensively? Is it going to be a little bit more aggressive? I'd like to see maybe some signs of that again next week and see if this is the way they're going to play. Maybe there is a difference with Brian Flores here in place of Matt Patricia. See if this is the kind of defense, maybe a little bit more of an attack mode. Yeah. And we'll see if they can do that next week as well. Seems like there's more activity for whatever reason. Yeah. For whatever reason it is, and it could be personnel. Could be youth. You know, you got Hightower back in the mix too. So you got great leadership in that front seven. But we do need to remember, this is always going to be Bill Belichick's defense. Yeah. Whether you're Patricia That's or you're true. Flores, right. you're answering to the big man. He's going to make the decision of how aggressive they are. Oh, my. Danny Entley <laughs> with his first throw of the night. Uh, I think we had a busted route there, or else that ball got tipped. Now coming off the play action, he's waiting for an in cut. He had two guys running posts. Rob's just chilling tonight, man. I'm hanging back. <laughs> Taking it all in for next week. Rob, how would you describe Bill's defensive philosophy, having played so many years under him? You know, Bill does a great job, obviously, game planning. Um, but he also knows situations. So red zone, fringe, you know, all the different things that go into P and 10, all the things that happen during a game. There you go, first down. Yeah, the Yetling, he, um, escape. he just takes it all into account. So, I mean, I'm sure... There are definitely points where Matty has called a play and Bill says, nope, I'm playing, I'm calling something else. And at the end of the day, Bill's going to do what he thinks is the best for the team. It's a good shot there, too, of uh, Flores, you know, down on one knee. They're still pounding the surface. Microsoft, uh, they're still surface pads, right? They yeah, those are micro yeah, Microsoft yeah. pads. Uh, Tablets. They're still coaching guys up. Again, it's Webb on the rush. On the final play of the pre two minute warning as we head to another timeout. Though before we do, let's say goodbye and thanks to Paul Prill and Andy Hart. Guys, appreciate it as always. Talk to you next week. Thanks, gentlemen. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, peace. Plenty of reason to smile tonight. Patriots in control here in the two minute warning. Time now for our buy of the game, brought to you by CarMax, official partner of the New England Patriots. And we talked pass rush at the outset with Rob Nikovich. Rob, you buying on this Patriots pass rush based on what you've seen? Well, I talked about it in the, in the beginning of the game, and I am buying the pass rush. Seven sacks. Um, you can see that there's a lot of different guys moving, a lot of pressure, and they're getting after the quarterback. Exactly what you have to do to be a successful defense. So I'm buying it this week. Next week, competition's going to step up a little bit. You're going to be going against the starters for a little bit longer. You'll probably get three quarters out of them, so we'll see what happens. What's it like to uh, attempt to tackle a six foot six? Two, I know he's listed at 240, 245. Cam Newton's yeah. about 270. He's a big a day. He's a big man. So yeah. honestly, the first time I saw him walk onto the field, I looked at him like, wow, you're three inches taller than me. And probably <laughs> the same weight as me. I can't believe how cut up he is. I, oh, he's just, a big dude. He's and I missed mammoth. him a few times. I got him a few times too. So, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. I won more. But, but I, uh, you know, oh, he's, he's an impressive quarterback. I think for two weeks they've been they've been building on something here. You know, and we've seen them been working. They, they seem to work on that every day in camp. Now, obviously, we can't be close as media. You're not going to be able to watch it. But it's a good chance now to take the team first time to go on the road. I know you call it a hostile environment, but that's a pretty good dress rehearsal. They're going to approach it that way. The Panthers will approach it that way. And then by the time you're getting ready to go play the Giants the following week, teams and rosters already set. Yeah, definitely. That third game, I mean, that's your dress rehearsal. You got that's, one week. That's that's it. So you got one week to kind of recoup and get your mind right for the for week one, the first game of the year. So um, no, definitely, we'll see a lot more next week and see how they look. Tom Brady looked terrific tonight, per usual. In control for the Patriots for all but one snap of the first half. Does his hair never get messed up? It's product, good product. <laughs> you remember Akeem Tlaib? It's like paste. <laughs> hey, Rob, remember Akeem? Remember that game in Atlanta and he puts his arms back and hey, man. After, after he hey, man. Up, who did he tee up? Uh, Julio Jones? We won. That's what Rob reminds me of right now. Rob's kicking back. He's got both arms up. Oh, yeah. I'm chilling. Mindset is to win. That dude was a great, <laughs> great teammate now. Wasn't he? He was fun. Bill loved him too, man. Oh, he, and he's smart, smart on the field, knows his coverages. Played hard. Reads routes like no other. Him and Revis, probably the two best at reading a route.
I've played with. Ryan Allen. Richard Davis. <laughs> Slides down. And there's Joe Cardona, Navy midshipman. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Uh, Long touch snap. Oh, you love sliding that Navy, <laughs> Navy thing in there. Did you see Bill Belichick's uh, sweatshirt earlier? I today? did. <laughs> Going to see the third quarterback of the evening for the Eagles, Joe Callahan. He's from the Philadelphia area, played at a very small school. Wesley College. Joe Callahan. Wasn't the name of the quarterback in that movie draft day? Oh, it was Bo Callahan. Joe Callahan had a cup of coffee last year with the Packers. Takes the shotgun snap. And in the final minute of this fourth quarter, completes it for a no gain to, to Jones. Eric Decker not necessarily applying the same product apparently as Tom Brady, but he's got some nonetheless sweet flow, a though. couple of photogenic guys. Remember last week when Abner was in there like one of these? <laughs> <laughs> Gino Grissom in pursuit. Gets to Callahan who got it away. I think Julian posted a picture of uh, him the ball Tom, got beyond the line of talking and Ebner was in the background. What do you do? You scratch Decker, him out? It was, no, it was Decker, Julian, and yeah. Tom talking and um, in the background, you can see Nate. And yeah. He just looks like a caveman and looks angry. He looks angry that they're talking. Like, why am I not in this circle? He's mad those three dudes are so good looking. Yeah, like, dang yeah. it. Why? Why? Why did that happen? Across the middle on the bobble. Nice the grab by Brown. Thrown down. Good work by Demarius Travis. Getting some late minutes for the Pats after he led the defense in reps. Last week versus Washington. He's played a lot here tonight, too. Mm -hmm. It's a fourth and three in the final 10 seconds. Callahan. Ended with a sack. Nice. Taken down with another sack, the eighth of the evening for the Patriots. I love it. Punctuating the performance defensively. And uh, Keontae Davis, Geno Grissom. Trent Harris, Christian Sam. Tone was set early by the starters. Now the young reserves ending on a similar note. So Danny Etling and the Patriots are going to line up in victory formation. Five seconds soon to elapse. Here in week two of the preseason. We're going to take a brief timeout. The come back with the Toyota post game report. That was loud. Rob Nikovich. <laughs> that scared job me. Well done tonight. That scared me a little bit. All right, Rob, we'll let you go. Great job. All right, thanks, guys. See you next week. Nice job, buddy.